Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to Friday. And this is your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and tonight 7800 uh, games. And you're watching at 60 frames a second or else you're missing... Actually, we're playing 7800 games tonight. It's not as necessary. It doesn't really matter necessary. so much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, don't, they don't use the, the flicker kind of tricks. I mean, some yeah. could, but it doesn't. They don't. So it's okay tonight. Yeah. You don't have to watch at 60 frames a second. But we do broadcast to 60 frames a second. Tonight we're going to be playing three games. We've got two cats oh, your, just come your, in the room. Your cam is not set up properly. Oh, it's over there. Yeah. I'll move it in a bit. Um, actually, I will move it and you'll read out the Twitch subscriber Oh my name. goodness. Oh, this is going to take like three <laughs> times the time. Yeah. Uh, but tonight we're going to be playing Raindrops, a brand <laughs> new Quadtari game for the 7800. The first ever Quadtari game made for the 7800. Wow. Made by Carl G. Um, as an exercise, um, because he made a bunch of 2600 games as exercises as well. So he made this one as well to Very provide cool. code for, I believe, uh, 7800 Basic. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also going to be playing Tubes from mm -hmm. 2005, an old game, two-player game. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're also going to be playing uh, Time Salvo by Revenge, mm -hmm. who's in the chat tonight. Yay. Welcome, Revenge. Thank you. I didn't see Carl G. Did you notice him in the chat? Not yet, but I just kind of ran um, in, so I did not see his name No, anywhere. I don't see it yet, but yep. we'll see. He might pop in. Um, so then I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers whose names Tanya's going oh to read goodness. out okay. while I move the cat cam so you can see the cats. Uh. 8-Bit Swami, Al Nefer, Armscar Coder, Cafe Man 2D, Catalox, Charles and Chet, Coconut 81, Dianoid, Dan ABC, Immuden, Grey Defender, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Juan Gerardo, Gerardo Carl G, Kayang Dor, Mark Space Inc, Metal Atari 1969, Mick Muse, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, uh, Mr. Zarni Wupa, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Packrat VG, Quahog 2600, RC70, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pym, Six Sweet, Smitty B7800, Socrates 0603, Spiceware, S. Ramirez 2008, Stephen A666, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, and Tiki Dan K. Thank you so much for subscribing. And as James says, all the time, you can support the show and subscribe for free too if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and select subscribe. Um, also be sure to follow, subscribe, and click on all the things, the Twitches, the YouTubes, the Facebooks, the Instagrams, the Twitters. <laughs> all of them. Good job. Meryl, Facebook, Facebook, VG just subscribe. See, yeah, it works. Yeah, woohoo. Completely works. And I don't know if Ground Trooper's <laughs> name was on here. It was, but he also subscribed just before the beginning of oh, the show. Oh, awesome. Yes. Good stuff. And uh, Pack Rat VG, before the show, he said, oh, what's that? What's that new voice thing? It's really cool. <laughs> and I think he wanted to wait till the show started. Oh, I see. Before he did the resubscribing. So he did the resubscribe and it did the voice on yep. the show. Yeah. So yep. Very cool. It is. It is Excellent. very cool. Excellent. It's hard to tell what it's saying, but yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. D-Train says, that it was always great. was. Do it again this time, but with feeling. <laughs> with feeling. Yeah. <clears throat> I, have uh, to, I have to practice. It's the first time he's let me do that, actually. <laughs> Yeah, is it fun? I should say let, again? but I, I'm happy to do it again if you okay. need me to do it again. Uh, thank you everybody for watching <laughs> live today in Twitch. Miss Command, D Train, Pack Rap VG, Revenge, Cafe Man 2D, uh, <laughs> Dan AVC, Nathan Strum, S Ramirez, uh, I supposed to, Crossbow, uh, ground trooper who had to go because his uh, daughter's getting married tomorrow. So oh my congratulations. goodness! Congratulations! That's so exciting. On being a father-in-law. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. Packer of the uh, Nefer Vitoko, and everyone else who's lurking, oh. but don't dare type <laughs> in the chat or give yourself away. We have so much mail, so much mail to open today. Um, what should we start off with first? We'll start off with the most uh, boring one, which I... Which has the nicest package, though. It's nice and I pink. I haven't seen many pink uh, um, bubble mailers. No, this I'd one is special. I'd be inclined to buy a pink bubble mailer. Yeah, really they're very cool. nice. I'm pretty sure this is from Limited Run Games, because oh. it's their dress on it. Okay, <laughs> well, that gives And it never says Limited Run Games. It always hey, says the guy, the guy who owns Limited Runs Games yeah. on the name. Really kind of funny. Uh, Carl G is in the chat. So. Oh, welcome, Carl G. Yes. We're going to play your game, which you probably know. Uh, this is, uh, that is, I don't remember ordering this. Oh, <laughs> yes, okay. 
the mummy demastered so it's like a, a 16-bit version of the mummy oh I really guess it, is it from the movie oh um but it looks awesome kind of castlevania like mm. uh bosses and stuff um you always got a little collector card yeah. and an ad nice like. Telling cool. you what else to buy from them. From, from yeah, yeah. Give us your money. Yeah. Oh, what else should I? Oh, let's open this one next. Ooh, yeah, we'll open this one next. This one is from Poland. We actually have two things from Poland today. Two mm. packages. Mm. I'm pretty sure I know what this one is. I feel like they were holding on of all the Polish packages, and then they're like, "Now you can have them." Yeah, they're like, <laughs> "Once a month, we will send." Polish packages through to Canada <laughs> yes, in yes, one exactly. big chunk and put them on a plane. Yeah, exactly. But the plane's not full yet, so we're not going to send these Polish packages. Mm. Um, oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. Small little package. Oh, I think I do. Um, it's one of two things. Because I don't know whose name is who and addresses and stuff. Oh, no. I was going to open the other one first, but that's okay. This one's open now. Yeah. This is what I've been waiting for for a month one. and a half yeah. now. <laughs> it's the dragonfly cart. Woo! Yes. People I'm in the chat so... saying, I know what that is. Oh, they knew it by the box. <laughs> yeah. 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 A whole bunch of people have got theirs already. I'm awesome, like awesome, the awesome. slowest one. Mm -hmm. Like there's people way ahead of me. So these are the adapters for nice. um, powering them. Mm. One can plug into the power for the 7800. Mm -hmm. um, and that is also for an alternative powering for the 7800. Um, and this is the cart itself. Oh, this is much bigger than I uh, anticipated, you were, you were actually. Picturing it? Yeah. yeah, it's way Ooh, bigger. It's so pretty. Oh, uh, wow, the there color we go. and the, the yeah. graphics. I was going to pick the red one, and you went, oh, the purple one's yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I changed it to the purple one. Purple one. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. I like it. That's a really nice purple, too. And the quality of the print, of the um, 3D printing, is really good. Mm -hmm. This must have been, like, sanded down or something. Like, you can tell it's 3D printed, but it's very smooth. It's got um, a nice texture on it, yeah. Uh, number serial number 53. Oh, nickname, Zero Page Homebrew. Nice. Uh, and it's this one's fully loaded. This has the Pokey Max in it, okay. which I believe is two Pokey chips. Okay. So you have dual Pokey, and it's also got the Yamaha chip as well. Nice. YM2151, mm. and both the cables. So let's go to the cat cam so I can show everybody uh, up close what it looks like. This is really gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful label. Here is the top of it with the buttons for navigating the menu. Uh, it's for the power uh, in and out and the power switch. Um, there's some there's some pins. Everybody knows what those look like. And the blank back of it. But the color is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And this is going to allow me to play every 7800 game because there were some there's some incompatibilities right now with the concerto. Um, there's also some games that don't, like, just can't run on it at all, like EXO, uh, Muddy Funsters EXO. Now we can play it, so the next 7800 oh, day, Excellent. we'll finally be able to play EXO. Yeah. We'll also be able to play, um, some of, uh, uh Bob DeCrescenzo's games, nice. because he takes advantage of the Yamaha, Yamaha chip in there mm. for extra sound. Um, so I'm very, very excited. Now yeah. we can play all the games. We're not limited anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and this is huge. So it has to taper in to fit into the 7800. Yeah. So, yeah, I've heard no incompatibility issues whatsoever mm -hmm. with this. Like, every single game they throw at it uh, works. So. Ah! so that will be uh, available for us going forward. So let's uh, open this one next. And Tanya accidentally opened this one. She's like, oh, a box. No, I, I saw it. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for an order. And I just grabbed it and opened and I cut the tape yeah. and then opened it and went, oh, wait, no, <laughs> this is not for me. Uh, this so is definitely. He hasn't seen it yet, though. No, so that's. I cool. know what it is. Though. Yeah. Uh, this is definitely 3D printed. You can see the. Yeah. Striations. You can. Yeah. The layers. But it's very. It's, it's so one of the cool. better. 3D I really printed. like the purple. 
Uh, one yeah. of the better 3D printed cases I've seen. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, really well done. It looks really nice, yeah. So this is pre-opened for me. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it it, it, it re reduces ah! the risk of accidentally cutting yourself as you're trying to get into it. Oh, so. let's switch back. Oh, look at see that. There we go. Uh, look at all these it's overblown packing popcorn. Peanuts. <laughs> packing peanuts. So yeah. let's dig through this. Ah, nope, I failed. Should be like a, a game. You have to pull out what's in there without disturbing the packing peanuts. And I totally, oh my god. It's like pickup sticks. Full to the brim. Oh my god. There's one driving controller. Oh my god. Two driving controllers. Lovely. Now I wanted to get two more driving controllers. I already had two, but the uh, Quadtari mm -hmm. supports four driving controllers. So there's a very good chance that somebody is going to make a four player driving a racing game Yeah. Um, because they are spinny paddles. So there's very like a high chance of that happening. Cool. So I wanted to make sure I was ready with, with. every option possible <laughs> for the Quad Tari. Lovely. Because I have four paddle controllers, which takes care of that. I yeah. have tons of joysticks, which yeah. obviously takes care of that. Um, but uh, I didn't have four driving controllers. Very nice. And that is covered now. And they look like uh, very good condition. And yeah. These were, um, uh, this one is even nicer. I think that one looks this one's a, little a little faded, faded but yeah. this, this one looks good. But uh, I got them from somebody on the Atari Age forums. Oh, cool. Um, cool, cool. So, uh, yeah, they're a great. There's a buy and sell area of the Atari Age forum. So, if mm. you want to. And I said I wanted two driving controllers, and two people stepped up, wow. and, and I bought it from one oh, of them. Oh, that's awesome. So, that's the first time I ever bought anything from, from, their from forms. that forum. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I bought things. Obviously, the Dragonfly cart was oh, yeah. part of that. Yep. Excellent. Uh, Need for kid controllers. Hey, now. you're in a foot. Hey, Johnny WC, who's going to make a four-player driving game? <laughs> winky, winky, winky. <laughs> Who knows? It could be anyone. I bet, it, I bet it would be a, a champ of a game. Yeah. <laughs> that was too obvious. That was too obvious. Uh... Championship driving, something like that. Uh, I think I know what I this know is. No, it's not what I thought it was. Oh, no? Because I thought it was in the other box. Oh. Oh, there's candy. Want some Polish candy? Kids out there, don't eat candy from strangers. <laughs> not even Polish oh, candy. Oh, cool. Just in case. Coffee flavor, and it's got a soccer ball on it. That's very oh. cool. Hmm. Mm. I bet this is my packing invoice. Yep. Nobody needs to see that. Uh, this is for the Atari 8-bit system. Nice. And I was finding that the last cartridge I got, what is it called? Uh, it's not out right now. Oh, we have was, was a bit limited. We do have the treats here. Oh, good. <laughs> Sorry. I should almost keep them here. I, we should. Um, and I couldn't play all the games <laughs> on the other cartridge. Um, some of them wouldn't load. Um, oh, okay. So I bought this. The AVG cart okay. for my XEGS, and it has a uh, better compatibility oh, okay. with different file formats. Okay. Um, so I may. Oh, here's some cat feet. Yeah. Um, so hopefully this will solve some of the uh, issues that I was having loading certain games mm -hmm. for the XEGS because I do want to put in more XEGS games. Um, some wiring. <laughs> of this looks like it's for I don't know what. Beyond me. Um, oh, and this connects up to virtualize loading from a tape drive, okay. I believe, and it plugs into the cart. Uh, on the side. Oh, on the side, yeah. Oh, this is for reprogramming the cart, I believe. Oh, okay. Um, if you need to flash it or update it, yeah. Mm. So, yeah, so this virtualizes, I think, tape loading or disk loading or something. I don't know much about the 8-bit systems. You have to excuse my ignorance, but that opens up more possibilities. So I'm very happy about that because cool. I want to be able to run anything that I run across. Mm. Why would you be like, oh, I can't play this game. Oh, I can't play this game. That's so annoying. Uh, so uh, some feedback uh, from YouTube. Logan Jorgensen said about the uh, Sega Master System light gun that I got. 
last week in the mail. It was last or uh, last mm -hmm. episode? It was last episode. You said you don't actually have to alter the Sega Master System phaser at all mm. if you make an adapter. Oh. So you can rewire it externally, which makes oh, sense. Oh, okay, yeah. And yeah. then I found uh, the diagram for that. So all I have to do is make the. Uh, like, like an adapter. A, it's like four or five wires. Okay. And there's like a resistor and um, like a, a bridge between two of the wires. It looks dead easy. Okay. And way easier than opening that up and stuffing it back inside yeah. and then wrecking that. Yeah. No kidding. Because I was kind of like, <clears throat> oh, now if I If ever you wanted to... Play Sega Master System yeah. like gun games. Yeah. Exactly. That's very cool. Vitoka says, I want my AVG card. Lost in the mail during oh, the no. pandemia. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm sure it'll get there. Yeah. yeah it'll get there. Um, from YouTube, uh, Oak, Octavia Bokel says, the chat feature is just un unbelievable. Congrats. And, well, he's not congratulating me. That was on the plus card chat feature. Oh, yeah. Um, which is really cool. And I still find it incredible that it has a screen full of words for a 2600 <laughs> yes. cart let alone yeah. connecting to the internet and like and having, having a chat a forum. chat with someone is hilarious so yeah no kidding it's amazing it's unbelievable mm. uh and from youtube john yak says i got excited when i saw arkanoid for the 7800 sadly it doesn't work with the 7800 emulator on the pi it sure does look great though and i was trying to do research on what emulator the Pi was using okay. for the 7800. And mm -hmm. I wasn't really able to come up with anything and how recent it is either. So uh, if anybody else out there knows what emulator the Pi uses and how up to date it is, or what what it uses and, and what it can and can't play, because some people are trying to play these new games mm -hmm. on the Raspberry Pi, which is an obvious thing to do because it's nice and compact. You load it up plugs to hdmi you can play it at other people's houses with controllers but apparently it's it's not the greatest emulator it doesn't play like even arkanoid so really? yeah mm. hmm. crossbow says not sure which core but i'm pretty sure most of the rpi uses retro arc mm. or arch mm. somebody called it called it arch and i would and i always called it arc like arcade retro arcade oh but there's an h there which means arch arch yeah but i thought it was like that doesn't make sense with the yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> so Muddy Funster posted a really fun demo in the EXO thread, which mm. we now can play, uh, uh, called EXO Band World 1A. And this is uh, has some music by Synth Papalooza. Mm. Um, so let's take a look at that. And it's really nice little thing you got. Oh, cute. <laughs> uh, let me just... Alter this. There we go. So it says the EXO band ZPH edition because it wasn't working on the concerto cart, so he was trying to do mm, updates. Yeah. Um, but we never got it working. So I have to, I have to play this in BUP system. Um, he says that's the best emulation for this particular demo. It's not a game, it's just a it's little a demo. demo. Yeah. Because uh, Synth Papalooza has been making some music for his game okay exo and i guess he just thought he'd make some fun thing with yeah for these guys to play along it's so cute <laughs> so you've got a synth uh, synthesizer guy a guitarist two guitarists mm -hmm. bassist i guess one of them mm -hmm. and then an upright bass mm -hmm. as well let me just turn it up a little EXO Area 1 Prison by Synth Papalooza. So that's the part of the game. Yeah, yeah, the music. Yeah, yeah. That is super cute. <laughs> it is. Um, and it reminded me of a C64 thing just like this. Mm. It was called Thrust Demo. Okay. And it had three different musicians. One on drums, one on synth, and one on guitar. And um, they were all playing along to the music. It was just like this. Mm. Um, it was really, really cute. Cute characters. Mm -hmm. New ZPH music during the 30 minutes pre-show. <laughs> yeah, you want this to loop for 30 minutes? <laughs> I mean, it's great music, but, mm -hmm. you know, a little variety would be good. <laughs> hey, but maybe once, uh, once the whole game is done, 
Yeah. He can make like an album. An album, yeah, or why like, not? Like a uh, a demo vi- album. A demo album. Yep. You can switch music or it just plays one song after the other. That'd be very cool. Yeah. That would be very you cool. You can um uh what was I gonna say? What's the card again? With the internet connection. Oh, the plus cart. Yeah, so you could yeah. have a plus cart like um uh YouTube music kinda going where people would share their music uh demos. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> How would that interface? What do you mean? Know. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, no, you could have a, a, a directory yeah. of music. I mean, of that's music. on the 2600. Oh, that's true. That's and true. This is, this is 7800. Yeah, that's Nobody's true. made the equivalent yet. For the 7800. Maybe they will. Yeah. 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 Um, but that I thought that was really, really good. Yeah. And I wanted to have played on the show. But if I got this a couple days before, mm. I would have been able to play it. That so we may try this at the end of the show sure. if there's some time, yeah, 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 yeah. But I have to do plugging and yeah, maybe, maybe for the next, next one. one, next then one, then I could show it, up. yeah, 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 because yeah. nobody wants to sit there and watch me play with power Cords. plugs, <laughs> no, yeah. Um, there, Batari posted yesterday about a 32k ROM plus 32k RAM bank switch, mm-hmm. um, technique. He says, I've been kicking around an idea for a versatile bank switch method that is easier to use than existing methods and would base it would have been technically possible on 1980s hardware and could be used for games where the author prefers not to enhance them with ARM code. The basic idea is that it's 32K ROM and 32K RAM, which is a ton of RAM. Oh my God. Having a lot of RAM can do a lot of the same things that the DPC Plus or CDFJ can do. However, looking at the various RAM schemes, I find them a bit difficult to program for. Um, a 32K ROM plus 32K RAM scheme could, would be limited to Harmony Encore or a homebrew board with 32K RAM chip, which is on the drawing board. Other flash cards should be able to support it as well. A 64K ROM plus 32 RAM version could be also made. By the way, I do have a stripped down proof of concept of the ideas here in a private build of Stella, but it needs a lot of work before I can release anything. Mm-hmm. And that would be also pretty useful for um, setting up... Uh, what is I always forget the name like putting code into RAM so that you can alter the code in real time okay. so you're executing code in RAM mm-hmm. um, self modifying code that's what it is mm-hmm. and the good thing about self modifying code oh Carl you typed it just after <laughs> I said it but it um, is that you can set up a screen full of stuff that you're drawing without having to go and waste time loading information out of RAM. Gotcha. You're almost setting up a screen. It would be great for titles and stuff like that. Okay. Um, yeah, it has a lot of uses. Mm. Um, so that's really, really exciting that uh, that's going to be available for people who don't want to use uh, the ARM chip okay. or have uses for it. Uh, and speaking of innovations, uh, this one was back in like... 1982. Mm-hmm. Uh, Revenge wrote yesterday about an amazing sound chip that was in development for the Atari 7800 mm. that he learned about from Steve Golson, uh, the person who worked on Miss Pac-Man arcade, mm. uh, Food Fight, and the graphics chips for the Atari 7800 Pro system. And he was in the recent documentary High Score. Oh, cool. Remember uh, that segment about the people who hacked Pac-Man? Yes. And made like pirate arcade games. Yes, yes, yes. That you yes. could load in. Yeah. Load he, in. Yeah. He was the guy in the documentary. Oh, cool. So he was talking to him. <laughs> yeah. Well, Revenge is in the chat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as most of you are aware, the TIA wasn't the first choice for 7800 audio. Originally, the 7800 uh, Maria, Maria, Maria chip was supposed to include advanced audio within it, but that was removed when die space was needed for other functionality. At that time, GCC pivoted to an in cart audio which is kind of like the pokey chip was in the in cart, uh, coupled with the TIA audio. Over the years, there's been some speculation as to what GCC's proposed in cart sound chip solution would have been like, how cost effective it may or may not have been in the in cart chip. To help nail the speculation down, I reached out to Steve uh, Golson, a GCC chip designer extraordinaire and a friend of the community. Steve kindly searched through his archive for all the docs he could find and shared them with me, and now you. When I received these docs, I was astonished to read about the mini. The thing was no pokey redux. Here we have a chip capable of basic wavetable synthesis while still still keeping things lean and cost effective. So more along the lines of what the Commodore 64 
chip was like. Okay. So it had a lot more versatility. Um, but we will get into that later because it's a little bit of a write-up. Okay. So I'll talk about that while we're playing okay. uh, some games. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah. So let's get on with the game. Yay! <laughs> the first game is Raindrops. It's mm. 20, uh, 2021 Work in Progress um, by Carl G. Uh, this build is from yesterday. Mm. 32K game. Uh, this is the very first game to use the Quadtari on the 7800. So that's Ooh. very exciting. Now mm. this is a game we played on the 2600. Raindrops. Okay. It's the one with the umbrellas. I do recall that. And the yeah. rainbows and the drops falling down. Yeah. A little bit enhanced for graphics and yeah. sound. Yeah. Maybe not yeah. sound, but the graphics for the 7800. <laughs> uh, I call it a code demo rather than work in progress. <laughs> yeah. It's a playable game. It's playable. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have fun with it, damn it. <laughs> no, it, it, is, it is fun and challenging. So, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, he calls it a demo because it is a demo of code. Uh, yeah. So that other people can develop games for the yeah. Quadtari. But it's a full It's a full, full game. game. Yeah. There's score. There's multiple players. Nice. There's, a, I think, an end. We'll see. Hmm. Um, but it, it's a totally playable game. And it does look really good on the 7800. Uh, so let's get that set up. I've got the Super Twin Ed Ladin plugged into the Quadtari, which you should be able to see on the cat cam down there. The cat cam? There you go. Pull Where are those bit. cats? They were here and then they left. Well, they heard... Uh, we'll shake the treats a little bit later. Okay. Um, so let's power up. Uh, Carl G, I'm not writing a raindrops manual or selling cards. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. What if people pressure you into it and go, this is an awesome game. You got to put it on cart. So today's date, as per usual. Go down to today's date. And raindrops. A78, right? Yeah. One second, one second, one second. What is happening? What's wrong? Oh, oh, what's going on? Uh, I don't see any. Do you have a different screen? I don't see any output. What's going on? Hmm, I think I'm going to have to refresh the capture device. That's interesting. That's okay. It's very easy to do. Boom, boom, and nothing. Oh, no. What? What? What is happening? We're getting it on the screen. Yeah. Talk amongst yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to reboot it. Uh-oh. Uh, the capture device. Which it did respond to rebooting. There oh. we go. Oof. Just Oof. needed a firm kick. Yeah. Okay. Pretty firm one. So, wait a second. Let me just load up the graphics. I always forget at least one thing to do whenever I get a show going. <laughs> Give us a topic. There we go. <laughs> um, uh, cats. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, now you can load it up. Oh, oh, oh. So ah. there what is the game. Dodging, getting the rainbows. You're Forgotten. getting the I was rainbows. like, what am I doing? I forgot. Ah, ah, so... Ah, ah, ah. Terrible so far. I think I'll use another joystick. No, not that Too one. Too cramped. Too cramped. There we go. So I've got the purple one here. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, the game does start immediately. <laughs> Which you probably wouldn't want in a. Well, actually, if nobody touches a joystick, that's fine. Mine! Ah! <laughs> so the objective is to get as many rainbows as you can. Um, without getting hit by the water droplets. Now, the water droplets, you don't have lives, but they reset you to the bottom. Yes. Which is not something you want. Because I feel like this is a very um, <laughs> Vancouver-centric game. It like, is. This it's is basically what your life theme. is. Oh, my God. Dodging rain. Dodging rain. rain looking for long. rainbows. Yeah, there's never rainbows. Hopefully. They... Never oh, did rainbows. I get that? I think no, I, I don't know. Uh, I got it. Oh. Oh. Ah. Right. It always gets you. Like, you're like, ah, I almost got it. No. The, 
the risk reward in this is if you're staying really high up, the chances of you hitting getting hit by a raindrop are very high because yeah. you don't know where they're coming. But you have a much higher chance of getting the rainbow. So the best is kind of staying down a little bit and then zooming up right when the rainbow comes up. So I am on uh, joystick number four. Yeah, I've got the pink. Which oh, I... I have a score of D, apparently. Oh, I think you, you won. Oh, done? You wrapped over, maybe? I want to get one more. Maybe it goes to E. What do you think? I don't know. You can e? try. Ah! Ah! If I can get E. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I don't think I got that. No, it, it will disappear. Oh, oh, I got nine. What, uh, what? I got nine. Did I get disqualified? You got disqualified. Oops, bug girl juice. <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to end at nine. <laughs> I think oh. you hit nine. Oh, and you won at nine and I had to go to D and still didn't win. No, I think you hit nine. You were you had oh. eight, so you hit nine, but it, it went to D. Let's see if it's just for player four. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's just player four. See if you can get Let's to see. nine. Ah, ah. Eight? You're at eight. Nine. Oh, there's a handicap on player four, huh? Eight. A. <laughs> it's <laughs> it funny that around. it just... What happens after F? <laughs> Crash. Does it go to zero it again? It went to hex. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it, it, we played Whatever a game works. that had hex Whatever score the works. other day. Yeah. Uh, What was that called? It That's was a so racing funny. game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. what it was called? Uh, oh, geez, I can't oh, remember, on. but um, I do remember there the next one. Oh. Yeah, see? Yeah, no, yeah, you definitely... Oh. You should try um, plugging it into the other ones and seeing if... Uh... Oh, they're all plugged in. We'll try that in a second. Okay. Sorry. It's not an I mean, easy mine game. stopped at nine, so it yeah. made it look like I won, but... Uh... He may only have checked player one for nine. Hellway, right? Hellway. 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 Yeah, it has hex score. Hex score for nerds. F. One more. Does it go to zero or does it crash? Oh, I missed it. Damn it. Okay. We'll wait here in the middle. Ugh. Mine, 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 mine. Oh, it turns, oh, into, it turns a into a raindrop. Oh, that should be the winner. Yeah. Wait. Oh, it oh it's into an, an umbrella. An umbrella. <laughs> These are great bonuses. Girl, gee, I think this bug has been confirmed. <laughs> This is like uh, Pac-Man when you get to level 256. It's nice. Like, starts turning into <laughs> the code. Yeah, that's uh, other awesome. Other graphics. I love it. I just It feels very existential somehow. I want to see what else it just, is in there. It just becomes part of the game. The score just becomes part of the game <laughs> after right. a while. Uh, oh, nice. what is that thing? <laughs> Moving into the sprite data. <laughs> I yeah. love it. These are unused, uh, unused nice. sprites that oh, yeah. monster-like pink sprites. Uh, ah! Now no. we're just curious. We want to see what comes next. I think it's just random. <laughs> it's just whatever's in there. And just, beyond. <laughs> it doesn't look that random, though. It looks like, you know, that could be a quarter of a something. Yeah. Okay. That is pretty funny. Nice. Yeah. It's just random stuff. Carl G, you aren't going to lock, lock anything cool, I promise. I've got it. Just nothing. Nothing. Not going to oh. lock anything. <laughs> Bonus stage? Yeah. No? You have nothing now. <laughs> yeah, no score whatsoever. Okay, one more. No Mountain King areas added. Uh, okay. No. We're done. We're You're into done. The, we're into the zeros. <laughs> the boss. The boss <laughs> He's stage. hiding something I know <laughs> And That's I hilarious. actually plugged in um, this controller. Yeah. This is 7800 controller from oh, yeah. Europe, uh, which I ordered because I had to fill it up to $50 order at Best Electronics. Oh, so you're like, when, why not? When I ordered my Poke Chip, mm. which didn't quite work. Um, oh, this is very challenging. So I want this on cart. <laughs> okay, Carl G. <laughs> With a manual. With a manual. There we go. One. I'm not going to confirm if that goes to past no. nine. Or mine, mine stopped at nine. So the pink okay. umbrella stopped at nine, but yeah. yours, yours kept going. So, so, yeah, that's so funny. the code for implementing this in 7800 basic, I believe. Uh, is it basic? Or did, yeah, probably basic. Mm. Is in the forums. Mm. Um, so it's not under the name raindrops. It's under like some strange name. Like demos and stuff or mm. something. So uh, I let me paste that 
into the chat. So if anybody wants to go and look at the code, you guys can use that code. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, it's under demos and half-baked ideas. So which one is this? Is it a demo or a half-baked idea? Yes, yeah, 7800 basic. So there you go. With the manual, without the bug. Mm. Yeah, no, no, leave the bug in. But um, <laughs> cool. so I'm looking forward to more 7800. I'm looking forward to Mule. Somebody's going to make Mule on the mm. 7800, please. Because that's a four-player game. And it's a really, really, really fun game. So <laughs> I, uh, I hope somebody makes that. I doubt mm. it because it's a lot of work for not being able to possibly sell a game. Mm. Um, so the next uh, game we're going to be playing is not a four-player game. It is Tubes uh, by Bruce Tomlin. And this is from uh, 2005. Okay. It's an older um, 7800 game. It's a 16K game uh, by, say, Bruce Tomlin. So let's unplug all these things. Mm. Unplug. It's a problem with the Quadtari. You have a lot of things to unplug if... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, if you only have to unplug, you can leave all these plugged in. Just Move them to the side. Mm. Oh, I need to label these. Yeah, great so. party game for those rainy days. Yeah, simple, fun, yeah. competitive. Yep, it has a beginning, it has an end, it yep. has four players. It, uh, you can Moves play it. into into hex, you know. <laughs> and the thing is, you can just ignore the other players. You could have one to four players. Yeah, and you just, you, yeah, exactly. Time yourself yep. if you want, I guess, if you want to play by yourself. Mm -hmm. See how fast you can get up to nine. Yeah. Um, so uh, this is... Oh, now it's working good. <laughs> but it was going to cut out again. Yeah. So we're going to go on to tubes, which is kind of Tetrisy. Ooh, I like Tetrisy. But tubes. also kind of not really puzzle. Eh, a little puzzly. A little puzzly. Don't okay. load it yet. No. Nope. Uh, little puzzly. Little Tetrisy. It is. There's been games like this before that I've played. It is a tube connecting game. Okay. Where you have to complete full loops of tubes. Okay. It's, it's not, not. It's not where water runs. I, I was. I was going to say it's not like pipes where you're connecting the waters creeping no. through. No. Um, so we're going to have to. We'll share this. Mm-hmm. Will we? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Is that okay? Yep. Okay. Uh, Load it up. I still feel like the purple one should be on my side, but that's. Well, just... you can order your own. <laughs> Maybe I wanted that on maybe the left. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe you can you will. can you pick all the colors? Yeah, you can pick uh, the button colors and this color. But not the base. No, I believe I that's can't a... make it some some crazy. You could you ask no, them. you could I take could... it apart and spray paint it. Well, I could also resin it and do some cool things with it too. But I guess you'd have to take that you apart. Could. Yeah. <laughs> so take um, them. You could. You could. <laughs> So this was first posted October 31st, 2004. You can jump into it and start playing. Oh. And you can just play the first player and I'll just die on the right. Uh, some of you uh, may have noticed, there's no sound on this one. Uh, me mentioning working on a 7800 game. This is his first 7800 game. I've been trying to keep it quiet until I had something worthy showing off. I've been stuck for two months needing to get a tricky algorithm working. Uh, and even had to write a 6502 monitor program so I could debug it. You try writing a pipe tracing algorithm in a 6502 assembler. It ain't easy. Well, finally, I got the tricky part working after hacking on it all weekend. The idea mm. with the idea, I came up with the idea on July 4th. I had an idea for something sort of like cross between Tetris and Pipe Dream. And this is the result. I believe I have Pipe Dream. I do on the NES on cartridge, which is, I believe you have to race the pipes. Yeah. Uh, the water in the pipes. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just like, I ah, just try to connect them. <laughs> Um, just so you know, I only just now got this thing working to the point where I can see it if the game player will even work. Um, so he's got well beyond that for, of this one. And so here's the public demo release of Tubes. Then on November 1st, 2004, he said, not only is it 320 mode, it's using double byte index character mode for most of the display. Each double byte character gives half of a tile. Uh, making the graphics was a bit tedious. I was doing it all by hand, but once it was done, it was done. Uh, has anyone left mm. it running idle for a couple minutes? So we'll have to try that at the end and just leave it. See, there's some sort of bonus, I think. I never figured out how to use the bombs. Um, so if you press up, the next tile will become a bomb. 
Okay. And it will explode everything around it in a nine radius, I believe. So if you want to try that out, and it'll get you out of a st sticky situation. So this one will explode the two if you drop it there, and the four, four. if gotcha. you drop it there. So if you dropped it down a hole where it's surrounded, it should drop... To, um, explode everything that's touching it. So, what am I doing? Why is you're, this? you're completing tubes. But didn't I just complete a tube there? No, there's open ends. Oh, so if there's right. any open, then it's yeah. you're screwed? Yeah. Mm. Um, that's what the bombs are for. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. Um, so, and then the next update is, anyhow, I've taken bombs out of the random ge tile generator and ad added the ability to call a bomb uh, by using the up direction on the joystick. It sets the next tile to a bomb. And you can even cancel by doing another joystick up. So if you accidentally press up, you can cancel. I think this is going to be a lot more interesting. Of course, a real game, you'd only have a limited number of bom bombs available, which he has fixed. You get mm. three. Um... As I had been planning all along, the score is one point per tile uh, blown up by a bomb for, for a max of seven points if you drop a, it into a pit. Mm -hmm. And the triangle number, 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21, etc. Don't know, of tiles blown up by making paths. Uh, note that in tiles with two possible paths, double elbow and crossover, each path will count as a separate tile for scoring purposes. So you get double points mm -hmm. if you have a crossing tile because it counts it twice. Mm. Vitelko says, try connecting left to the right side. Uh, that might have been an earlier... There you go. An earlier comment. Um, then he says, you start with three bombs and get a new one every 100 points. So you can refuel on the bombs. Uh, uh, this will certainly need to change as it's easy to get the 300-point paths. But the important thing was getting it working. Uh, his last update to the program, uh, this version was 2005, and then he went on to work on a Genesis version, Sega Genesis version mm. of this game, and worked on that from February 2007 to May 2009. So now it is time for me to play you, and I'm going to reset. Okay? I, I, I barely know what I'm doing here. <laughs> well, you know the concept. Kind of. Know all that? Oh, all that? Okay. Try to oh, connect sorry, left to right. Okay. There we go. Um, hmm. Well, that one's screwed already. We can get rid of that one. I wonder if I can make a path all the way along the bottom. Oh, you screwed it up. Jeez. Uh, let's put that one there. And do a path all oh, the way that along did work. the bottom. Hmm. Uh, Ooh, definitely perfect. confused. Confused. Yeah, let's go for it. Boom. Twenty-four points. The bottom row are uncompleted. You, they're not stopping points. Right. The. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think so. Only the sides are end pipes. Only the sides? Yes, the bottom is are not like unless you put one there. But never mind. Never mind. Probably confusing you more. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, the curvy ones are the like the turns are really easy to make. Um, connect up to two ends. Oh, this is not going to go well. That doesn't help at all. Oh, that doesn't do anything for me either. Oh, what the hell just happened there? Bug! Oh no! I found a bug. I was switching pieces and it completely changed to a different piece. Did it? Yes. Oh. I was like, what the hell just happened? Everybody see that? <laughs> that was super strange. I find the pipe pipe games are really tough when the water starts going because you have to be exactly oh, precise. Yeah. And and yeah. Oh, I think I'm gonna blow some stuff up. 
Um, because if you're not precise with it, um, the water's done. Like it's, it's, oh no, let's do this. Let's do that, that. Ooh, let's not get too high with that. Oh, an end piece. No, what, what? Oh no, I thought. Game's really hard. <laughs> you really have to plan out what you're doing. I have no idea doing. what I'm doing. You're making full pipes. Ah. What happens if the tube stretches across from the left to the right side? Well, if you cap it, it should be fine. Oh, if, if it's on like this level, oh, I've already screwed it up. It it should be fine. And they do drop down, which kind of wrecks things if you don't do it right. Let's just do a long vertical piece. There we go. Isn't that closed Boom. off? I just don't understand. Which one? I thought I, I nope. closed. No. The bottom right. Yep. Oh, that's yeah, an open true. area. Hmm. Okay, I'm bombing some stuff here. Boom. Which doesn't help because there's an open, terrible piece there. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I've definitely messed this up. There's not much I can do at this point. Boom. Not much I can do. Ooh. Ooh, I can do this one. Let's cap this one off. Let's throw away this one. Throw away that one. Aye, boom. Got another bomb, I think. I don't know. Oh, I can work on that one. Oh, there's another. Done. Nice. What? That one's hanging in midair. What the hell? Don't think he can't finish this game completely. <laughs> so I will put that one in no. there. Now I'm dead. And wait for a straight piece. Oh, a cap. Ah! Oh, I should have turned it up. Oh, I can put that one in there. You're talking so much, I'm like, just trying not to die. No, what the hell? I pushed it in there. Okay, mm -hmm. this one's going to go in. Right, 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 right. There we go. Still didn't fall down. And dead. You won. Okay. Yep, I guess you, you just keep going. Yeah. Hooray. I want to play that again. Okay, yeah. <laughs> now that, I'm just now like, that you know. I'm like, yeah. Hold it. You have to really be strategic with the bombs. Yep. Yeah, he did say he found it limiting adding new stuff. Um, because mm. he ran out of, of the ability to do things. I wasn't quite understanding what he meant. But, and I think that's why he went on to make the Genesis version. Um, because he had more ability. I'll put that one there. Somebody wanted to, to see me complete one right across. Ooh, should I do it? Yeah, if I could get a curve piece or an end cap. Oh, I could still do that. I could do that. Let's keep it going. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Watch this. Watch. Oh, I see. Boom. And that piece is stuck there forever. Nice. <laughs> Unless I bomb it. Look at that. Oh, end pieces. Just tons of them. Uh, let's put that there and get us. Oh, what? Am I getting nothing but end pieces? Oh, there we go. Thought it was a bug for a second. Yeah, let's put that up there. Definitely doing better this time around. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Ugh. Kind of making a discard pile. Uh, let's do that. Ugh. Ugh. Let's go up. Let's go across. Uh, 
one more. Wait for a cap. Should I do that? Sure. Let's finish that one off. Let's turn that up. Ooh, let's try that. Nice. Straight piece there. Ooh, let's put that there. Ugh. Oh, let's cap that off there. Plan for that. Uh, uh, let's do that. I just need a cap. Perfect. Boom. the scoring part. Oh, I didn't see that. Let's do that there. Go. Two player came. Can't can't read the chat. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone. Oh, an end piece. Uh, cap. Um, let's do... Oh, no. There's open pieces there. Well, let's throw a bomb down here and see what it does when it's completely surrounded as much as it can should take care of all those yep oh. but they don't all fall that which is really interesting hmm. um, let's slide that in there oh that's not gonna help nice oh wow <laughs> what the hell did you do oh my god good good things yeah good things. no kidding I, uh, like I bombed it in exactly the right place. Oh. Yeah. Wow, one piece. You're mm -hmm. down to one piece? Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. Kind of figured <laughs> out what, what I need to do now. Uh-huh. No kidding. Especially with the bombs. Um, 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 um. Oh, that's a mess there. mess. I think I just try to do some tricky stuff at some point and then I've made a discard pile. It's these open crosses that are really hard, I find. Yeah. Because they just open you so much. You almost just want to... Um... I think if he was still actively making this game, I would have suggested getting rid of those open crosses. Because mm -hmm. they're really, really tough to deal with. They are really tough to deal with. I'm not sure what to do with them. Yeah. Throw them in a pile where you bomb them <laughs> every once in a while. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Are you? My, it's just a mess. Yep. It's just such a mess. Everything is not connected properly. Uh, the developer said he gave up on the 7800 version because of the DMA limits, but do these limits cause issues with this version or just what he wanted to do beyond this? I, I don't see any issues other than that one bug I saw where it changed the piece all of a sudden, but that just seems like a, a bug in the programming. Mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't seem like this game is very functional. Oh, like yeah. Nothing wrong with this. I think he wanted to extend it, but I didn't see anything he wanted to add but i mean there's no music so that's one thing that's true there's yeah. no sound or music that is very true um and i'm not knowledgeable enough in 7800 programming to know if sound or music would have pushed the limits of this mm. i know there is an upper limit to how many things you can put on the screen at once 
Um, and he was, said he was doing something tricky with half half tiling. Yeah, Tanya is rather good at this game. I'm, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I, I figured a few things up, but uh, it's yeah. it's these cross pieces are the biggest problem. Ooh, I wonder if you can have four bombs because you have three bombs right now and you're four points away. I have a lot of these terrible, terrible. No, you used a bomb. I wanted to see if you could get four bombs. What do you mean? You were four points away from getting another bomb. Oh, what? And Was you, I? Yeah, you just got another bomb. Oh. I wanted to... I just said, oh, I wonder if you can get four bombs. Mm. And you went, bomb, down to two, back up to three. But I was like, oh, I need a bomb right now, now that you mention it. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have mentioned it. I should have went, oh, she's going to get four. Yeah. <laughs> she's going to get four bombs. Or it could have had a hard limit on three. Yeah, that's true. Which is possible, because it looks like there's not much room for an extra one. Oh, still not beating me, even though I gave up. Technically, I'm still playing. You are still playing. It doesn't actually stop the game. Um, it just kind of sits there with a the tile on the top. It's like, he never programmed in you die when it hits a tile and can't move further down. Which is kind of funny. Mm -hmm. So I can just fill up my screen. I wonder what happens then. I wonder if... We both fill up our screen it's going to crash or do crazy things we should try that out how many tiles is that it's like one two like the whole screen is pretty much filled mm. i mean this middle section is not it's only about half filled there's so much noise on the screen. I have to look into that. The noise? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't come through too much on the stream, but it's, it's very noisy. Very, very noisy. I'll have to see if I can do anything about that. Um, cool game. Can you fill up the screen? You want We're me done. to? We're done. Yeah. Oh, bomb went down. That's not part of filling up the screen. Did I accidentally hit up? I must have. You must have. So about the uh, 7800 sound chip, uh, while well, we're waiting for you to fill up the screen, uh, the features on it had three voices, 16-bit frequency resolution, 28 kilohertz sample rate with a dynamic range of 10 bits, two arbitrary 64-byte Waveforms stored in on-chip ROM, which should, could differ per game. Three standard waveforms, triangle, square, and sawtooth. Uh, the mini and TIA audio was summed together, which added another two voices to the system. Suitable for sound effects and percussion effects. That's what TIA is good for. Stuff like that. Uh, the mini relied on the CPU to adjust volume for achieving sound envelopes. This would uh, commonly occur once per frame, along with any other sound parameter adjust mints uh, desired. Um, adjustable sound parameters included a very fine-grained volume and frequency controls and a noise parameter. The noise parameter could be used to adjust the wave phase of any of the voices in varying levels, achieving modulation effects ranging from slight frequency instability through to pitched noise. And I mean, I'm not sure if there's a call for somebody to make this nowadays. There, there we go. Full. Yeah. It doesn't really stop, but yeah. No. So and it uh, didn't crash or anything. See? And still. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it can't fit anywhere. Oh, neat. Yeah, it's a good a good game. Yeah. And even in this state, it's still a good game. Yeah. Adding some sound would, you know, elevate it to mm. uh, the next level. But. Mm. And uh, he said, wait a few minutes on this and see what it does apparently there's some Ooh. sort of um some sort of bonus little thing in here we'll see if uh that happens i, w I wish they put an advanced sound chip in the 7800 mm. but they wanted to save costs mm. and so they put it all on the oh, cartridge the older, itself, oh in the cartridge yeah 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 which have only they made two car yeah. games with with the sound chip with the pokey chip mm. yeah and everybody's destroying them now <laughs> well destroying <laughs> smash, one smash, smash. the ball blazer because the yeah. commando is more expensive because it's rarer yeah yeah 
all the ball blazers get destroyed because Aww. they didn't put a sound chip in the 7800. <laughs> they just used the 2600 sound chip. Mm. Um, yeah, because I was reading about it, there is a say when when it got sold to Jack Trammell, mm. um, the Atari. Um, there is a dispute over who was supposed to pay GCC, the manufacturer of the 7800. And both parties said, it's not our responsibility because it wasn't, mm. it wasn't in the contract properly. Okay. Saying, we owe this money, we're going to pay it, or the buyer's going to pay it. So it sat in limbo for two years. Oh, wow. While the 7800 just was in warehouse. They were made. They were manufactured, stockpiled, and then just in warehouses there. for two years. That's ridiculous. It, it is. And... Um, so they had to delay the launch of a console for two years. Wow. And by that time, all the launch titles were like, oh, why, why do we want these titles? These mm -hmm. are arcade games that have been put out on every system for so long. They were like older games. So everybody looked at the 7800 and was like, eh, mm -hmm. not too impressed with it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it didn't, it didn't sell very well. And then, and then more games were made and, mm -hmm. you know, they were not um, straight, eight, like early. Oh, there we go. Oh, is that it? Cool. It's a screensaver. Nice. Oh, nice. oh, cool. Oh, yeah, it's got the bomb like in, the, yeah. in the middle. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, because all the launch titles were like arcade games from 1980. Mm. So by 84, it was. It was just. It just it, looked like, what is this? Yeah. Why do was, we want this? It was this? just out of what date. What is the point? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so mm -hmm. we're going to move on to the next game, which is Time Salvo. Time Salvo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a twin stick shooter. Oh. For the 7800. Wow. Okay. So cool. this is a perfect time to do it. We're going to watch a video first. Okay. It is a port. Okay. Of another game that was released uh, for home consoles in 1981. So we're going to take a quick look at that video. Uh, YouTube. Let's take a look. And uh, Time Salvo is mm -hmm. made by uh, Revenge. Uh, it was, well, I'll go into the details of the release. I believe it was released on cartridge in 2017. Um, but I wasn't really into 7800 games then. No, yeah. Or else I would have bought it at yeah. PRG for sure. Um, so it's a port of the 1981 game Crossfire. Okay. Uh, which was released on... Well, let me get up the video. Okay. So we can take a look at it. Let's see so we can see it too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm on. Get that info off the screen. Boom. Here we go. Let's rewind it a little bit. Oh, let me see the cover there. So... Why does it keep... It's not on the screen for very long. There you go. Crossfire. Nice. And it is a grid-like game. Actually, oh. we can probably turn on this sound. I don't think there is any. <laughs> oh, there it is. Just a little bit of sound. So this was released for uh, the Commodore 64, um, Atari 8-bit systems, uh, the Apple II, uh, Vic 20, uh, I, IBM B, PC, and a uh, cartridge version was, re was released in 1984 as the launch title for the IBM PC Junior. Mm -hmm. That's really funny that there was a cartridge version mm -hmm. for a PC. PCs had cartridges? Hmm. I don't have a PC Junior. I never used one. Um, but that's mm -hmm. really strange. Um, so you're that guy in the grid. There's people hanging outside of the edge of the grid. Yeah, shooting at you. Shooting at you. They kind of hide themselves sometimes. Then they move into the grid. Uh, so what Revenge did is kind of combined this game hmm. with, uh, crossed it with Robotron. And use the Robotron characters oh, okay. instead of the characters there because okay. they're low-resolution characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they kind of upped, 
upped the uh, up the graphics on it, and it can be played with one or two joysticks. Okay. Now, if you play it with one, oh, rating, thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you play it with one joystick, we can plug in the Atari Vox. Okay. So we should okay, probably right, play it with, with one? one at first. Okay. And then we'll move to two because okay. it's way better with two. Okay. But we should listen to the Atari Vox for sure. Okay. Um, sounds like so a plan. Let's plug in the Atari Vox because all that work went into making the voices. And I played it briefly. See, that brings the cats. Oh, I hear cats. We didn't hear the Atari Vox saying it. Uh, so let me get the correct graphics, not graphics from last episode. Yep, no, that wouldn't be right. Nope, because we're not playing that game. Nope. <laughs> there we go, time salvo. And missed the Atari Vox announcing itself, so let's put it up again. Oh, you didn't. No, you would have heard that. Yeah. Oh, the cats are here, of course. Why? Because you shook up. I did. Run out some chip, some chips. Some chips some for the kitties. <laughs> that's what I want. I want chips. <laughs> that's what's in your uh, mind. Here. Let's get them some. So. so oh, that was very that was understandable. Excellent. Yes. That was excellent. As opposed to my announcements that I put on the channel, I have to work on mine. Yeah. Beautiful uh, title screen with gears happening. Uh, very beautiful. I love that. Uh, and I believe this is um, exactly the same. Oh, this music happening. Ooh. Ooh, very very nice. The demo at the beginning. Let's turn it down a little bit. Demo run for a bit. Mm. Try it with the quad tari. We will after this. Oh, okay. it it won't it won't work any better with the quad tari. Um, I mean it would. Try the other button. It's not shooting. There oh. you go. Oh, you have to move in the direction you're shooting in. Oh, okay. That's why. Um, so we announced it on, you do have limited bullets. And you do have to refill your bullets. Oh. So you don't want to just go nuts on the bullets. So you pick up the dudes, and now you have them. Oh, the guy died. Uh, so in 2014, Revenge posted, I'm working on a new 7800 basic game called Salvo, which is an update on the classic computer game Crossfire. Uh... Gameplay. Shoot the enemies, avoid being shot. Mm -hmm. After some time passes in the level, humanoids will be getting, uh, begin appearing. Your enemies will kill the humanoids if they touch them, but if you run into the humanoids, they will follow you. Keep them safe to the end of the level. Oh, got two guys. Periodically, you will need to refuel on ammunition. No. Alarm will sound, and you'll see ammunition on the play field. Run across the ammunition to pick it up. Every if you see a smart bomb, run over to wipe out every enemy on the playfield. No, nope, no candy for cats. <laughs> Candy's not for cats. Uh, every two rounds, you will reach uh, uh, the challenging stage, where four waves of enemies will ra race across. Oh my god, are you still in the in the maze? Feels like it. Oh my god. Ah, you got me from the side. So it's an invisible maze. Oh my god, that's challenging. It's not that challenging. Invisible mazes! <laughs> How dare you revenge. Oh, just like in uh, Berserk, you can't kill those guys. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Or not Berserk, Robotron. Bro uh, Robotron, yeah. Oh, I, he oh. shot backwards! How can he move left and shoot three? <laughs> and you can't do that. Oh, oh, I did lose all the humanoids. Um, Come on. I go? love that they, like, splatter and explode. Your rank is Time Corpse. <laughs> you lost all the humanoids. I know. So the city goes away. Oh. Is that what it is? Is that why? Oh my god. Controls. To move, the uh, to move, push the joystick in the direction you want to go. 
To fire while remaining still, hold the fire button down and tap the joystick in the direction. So you can shoot while being still. Hold the button down and press in a direction. Oh, okay. Just like in Robotron. That would be helpful, yeah. No. We're done for now. Oh, I see. Time for your what? Detection? Destruction? Destruction. Uh, to fire while running, hold the direction in the desired joystick uh, direction and tap fire button A. You can also use the two stick mode from the title oh. screen, oh. which we will after a bit. And right into it. Uh, the Atari Age Cart version of Salvo features a Christmas themed Easter egg, which we can't do because this is not the cartridge version. Uh, but he released the Christmas version separately, so we know what we were playing at Christmas time is the Christmas version of Time Salvo. Um, so this first debuted April 18th, 2014. It was demoed at the 2015 PRGE at the Atari Age booth. Uh, it was finished August 26th, uh, 2016, and it went for s on sale at the Atari Age store July 16th, 2017. Um, I have information. I need to get out of there. Come on. Come on. Get out. Come on. Come on. Damn it. So the story is the time traveler. When I traveled to the future, I was expecting to see flying machines in cities that reached far into the sky. Instead, I found ruins. Mankind has withered away and devolved in t into the Eloi, a feeble humanoid people. Their saving grace was that they were kind and welcoming, and truthfully, I was glad for their company. When the first night on my visit fell, I became acquainted with humanity's uh, other new children, the Morlocks. Mm. This seems borrowed from a story <laughs> or a movie. Uh, they are feared shadows that stalk the night in this age. They prowl relentlessly until they can satisfy their taste for human flesh. Mm. Last night, the Morlocks took away my Eloy companions. Weena, my poor sweet Weena. One night, she had been playfully sticking flowers into my pockets with her tiny hands. And the next moment, claws were dragging her away into the eternal darkness. Dramatic. Very dramatic. Morning has now dawned, and I swear I will destroy this filthy Morlock scourge. I will fix this horrible thing. Thing time has done to humanity. I will avenge my Weena, the time traveler. Oh, jeez. They die, uh, the humans die really quickly <laughs> if, if, they're, if you're not around them, you know what I mean? Well, the, the Eloi are, are weak people that. I know, very the, weak. He evolved to, into, ah, like, no. they don't need their strength anymore. There we go. Oh, oh! Just destroyed I everything know, on the, the screen. The bomb. So, humans coming out of there? Right? Oh, is that what that means? Yep. I believe. Again. There you go. Got him right away. Rescued him. Oh, that's good. I find, I have to say, I do Get find... Get it! Destroys everything. Uh, um, I find it very confusing with the, the humans tracking you from behind. Because <laughs> it looks like uh, they're coming to kill you? Well, no, because I, I lose track of where I am in the mess of all, oh. the, all the things on the screen. Uh, ah. oh, no. You can't kill it. Get him! Get him back! Get him back! Come back, come They back. wander away. I know. Um, uh, Crossbow says, doesn't Defender of the 2600 do something similar when you lose all the humans in a wave? Does it? I bet it does. That makes sense. Because all the humans are dead. Your objective, you failed in your objective to save the people of the city. If there's no people in the city, what is there left to save? Yep, it's Defender inspired. Ah, when you lose all the humanoids in Defender, the planet goes away and the enemies go hyper. <laughs> Right, and without the city, you can use a smart bomb since you can't descend to the city to use it. The blocks on the screen fill up uh, when a human is about to emerge. Right, so there's one, two, three. So you want to kind of stick around those. Top left is opening. It's coming up. Want to protect him. And he's getting there. I think they emerge above it. I think. Oh no, just around it. Ah, I got oh. him, but then. Ah. So Oops. they can die from being touched too. Yes. Oh wow. Yeah, they're they're but not they're, shot. Uh, I, no, they can't be shot. I, I don't swear think it's I the saw. Same thing. Ugh, right away. Uh, it's like trying to get children to stay with you. <laughs> yeah, it's hurting cats is the term I would yeah. use. So the basic. Um, oh, how did that what? die? That, did you oh, shoot? Oh no, him? I died. I no, I don't think you can. My turn. Yeah, this it's fun. Like, it's very, very fun. This looks like tons of okay, fun. I'm going to be right back. <laughs> it's definitely going on my to-buy list. Yeah, it is very, very fun. But it is challenging. Oh, I'll put her name in. 
Very challenging. Oh, you can't go fast. T. Oh, you go over. No. You press the second button. Uh, okay. Turn it up here a bit. I don't want to hear the music. It's very quiet music. There we go. Okay. Ah. They're coming. Oh, it's block-based movement. So you press and it moves. Okay. Does it store? No. Oh my god, that was frightening. So you can't do half-block movements. I was expecting you had to press in the right direction. Ah. Oh, I touched. He didn't touch me. He did not touch me. Oh, they can't be hurt by bullets. Okay. That's good. So that only kills the people in the grids. Oh, God, they're coming. Oh, God. Ah, damn it, those guys hid the bullet. Oh my god. This is awesome. This is so good. It's pretty good with one joystick, actually. I wonder how it's going to play um, with two joysticks. I, I like the precision of one joystick and uh, the simplicity of it. Pretty good. It's challenging though, isn't it? <laughs> it, it plays really Still well with one, one joystick. Like, I have no problems with one joystick. Yeah, I don't. Uh, it'd be interesting to play with two just to see how, yeah. how it changes. It's a, it's, it's a really... Really great concept. I love, and I love the Robotron character. Yeah, too. the twist he put on it was I great. I do find the fact that I really wish if you killed the, the enemy that shot you, yeah. its shot would disappear. It's too realistic. <laughs> but that's not how it works. So, yeah. <laughs> select two joysticks. Yeah, do two, two, do two, do two. Uh, the voice is gonna go away, but we should do that now. Yeah. Okay. You do the two. Okay. You play with two. I'll do that. Oh, I got a higher score than you. It's fine by me. Okay. So we're doing two joysticks now. Uh, there we go. Ooh. Good luck to me. Mic, the mic in the... No, it's fine. Come on. Two joysticks? Yep. So one's shoot, one's your shot, and the other's... Yeah, which is... Are you enjoying it? Is it more, more control? Well, I don't know yet. <laughs> I just started. Well, we'll see. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's good because you can move away from mm. somebody and mm -hmm. shoot. You don't have to be in the direction of of the uh, movement. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's going to zombify. Oh, oh God. no. Oh, God. You have to kill him, right? Oh, my God. What? I shot him, I s but it was he was too close to me when I shot him. It's Maybe hard it's to too tell. late when they're zombified. It could be. You just have to avoid them? You do have to protect them, don't you? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Zombified. No, you can't shoot them. Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't think I'm doing quite as well. <laughs> it's hard. Got to get those big brains. The walking brains are a problem. They are. I didn't press down. Challenges. <laughs> but I did. Obviously, I pressed down. What do you... Oh, I need that. Destroy. Destroy. I love that they splatter. They, oh, like, yeah. explode into fireworks. It's great. Really great. Um, it's so great. And they're multicolored, too. Like, two it's a multicolored explosion. I, I just love that little touch of... Yeah. Two joysticks is really good. Because you're, you're just left, right, up, down. Mm. You can shoot them when they come on the screen. If, if no. you're successful. You but, can? Are yeah, you able as they to? come down. Yeah. Oh, good to know, good to know. Yeah, there's a guy merging on. Uh, up, up top. <gasps> oh. No! One more with the double joysticks. 
Mm-hmm. It's, it's pointless. Yeah, just go deep. Whatever. B, B, B. You have to get up there first. Ugh. <laughs> Missed all of them. It starts off easy with guys that can't shoot you. Mm. And it gets then you get the brains and you get the other guys with the rotating eyes. Yeah, they shoot at you. Uh, the ones in the hazmat suits. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, I want to get that right. There's now. a guy coming out too. Oh no. There's a boy. Get the boy. Or man or. <laughs> oh! Got two of them right away. Yeah. That was good. Oh, oh, oh. So many and of them. And then the other one's coming. Oh. He's coming. Get Must him protect. Both. Ah! Oh, there's so many things. <laughs> Ah. No, you're not going to zombie time. Ooh, four guys. Those little squid characters. Squiddies. Oh, what is that? Bullets. Be careful. It doesn't help if I die, does yeah. it? Yeah, no, it doesn't. You lose and, all and your lost guys. Three yeah, of them. Yeah, you're better off not going for it. I led, it the, if you, led uh... them into destruction. How do you know if you're running out of bullets? Uh, there's no indicator of how many. Or do you just stop until, and the bullets are on the screen? Yeah, I think there, it always okay. supplies you with bullets, but yeah. you have to go get the Hazmat bullets. suits are the robots from the game Berserk, yes. And the uh, purple aliens yeah. with legs, I think, is from Space Invaders. Yeah. Okay. I mean, these guys are Robotron. Yeah. And the brains, obviously. Yes, yeah. And the people. Yes, Berserk. Yeah, 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 yeah. For some reason, I was thinking they were Robotron too, too, but you're right. They are from... Um, berserk. Berserk. The red Very guys. Very cool. The red guys, yeah. yeah. In Berserk, they were just solid. Oh. Oh, death. Oh, sorry, dude. Oh, it's time for that. I do like that they give a lot of those. Yeah. Seems like too much, but it's not. There's a lot going on in this... Yeah, those guys that wander around in Robotron too. You're like, do you not see <laughs> the danger you're in? The monsters running around you that you wouldn't immediately run to the one thing that's trying to save your life. You know, <laughs> like it. It just feels like. Oh come on. Guys, what are you doing? <laughs> well, they're scared. They don't know what's going on. I don't know if they're scared. They seem to. A lot of them seem to be walking around with briefcases. That's so true. I don't really quite understand. They they, they have a very. Um, they're almost zombified already. They're like, we're going to work. Yeah. <laughs> Just going to work. Another day, going to work. It's all fine yeah. here in... in yeah. I don't, notice any, I don't notice anything wrong. All oh, these challenge. guys with their brains on the outside, you oh, know? Oh, 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 my God. Oh, oh, my God. It's like... Uh, oh, my God. I'm going to die. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. Oh, okay. Neat. That's fine, man. They don't kill you. It's like Galaga. Seems too easy. Oh, where are they coming? Oh, now it's not easy. I'll get them here. No! Oh, you bastards. <laughs> it is Galaga. It is. Well, at least I know the pattern. That is awesome. So awesome. I almost got them. <laughs> I think he said from... Uh, the octopi? Yeah. From uh, Space Invaders? Maybe. Yep, yep, yep. That somebody said that? Or did you say that? Nope, nope, someone said that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they go back into hiding now, some of the, the guys. Okay. Um. Oh, I walked right into it. They're anticipating my movements. Okay, your turn. Galaga esque, yes. Mm -hmm. No Pac Man character. Nope. Time Savile very much seems like it could have been another Williams Arcade co-op. Yeah, you could definitely see this in the arcade. Like, it yeah. seems like it's ready for the arcade. Oh, I got McFly. You did. <laughs> time Traveler. Are they all Time Traveler kind of thing? Oh, you got one! Let's get some more info on this. Um, your goal is to shoot all of the Morlock enemies, avoid being shot, and protect the four humanoids that appear on each level. So there are only four. In the four corners, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Those in the four corners. Get that. And shooting a lot, I, don't I guess. Think I got it. 
Uh, if you happen to lose all humanoids in a level, the lights will go out. In the dark, the enemies will become more aggressive. Oh, no. An invincible, hulking enemy will tirelessly hunt you down. Oh. That's why you had the Hulk guy. Oh, he even touches oh. you. He even touches you while you're, um, the oh, guys, God. while you're just... carrying them, he turns them into zombies. So they're not safe at all. No, 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 they're not. No. Um, shooting, shooting at the Hulk will push him back, but only a little. If the brain enemy manages to touch a humanoid, it'll be converted into a killer prog. The prog will race through the battlefield after you until you shoot it or it kills you. Periodically, you'll need to reload ammunition. An alarm will sound when you have 10 bullets left, and you'll see a pack of replacement ammunition appear in the battlefield. Touch the ammunition to reload. A destroyed enemy will sometimes leave behind a smart bomb. There it is. Yay! Uh, if you touch the smart bomb before it disappears, oh, each it. enemy on the playfield will be destroyed. No, 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 no! Every two levels you encounter the challenge stage, where four waves of enemies will race across the screen in different patterns. If you manage to shoot all the enemies in the challenge stage, you'll earn an extra life. Yeah, this game is on my to-buy list now. Um, it is in the Atari Age store right now with the box. So... So don't buy it before me. <laughs> Uh, Revenge says, yeah, all the high score references are from time travel fiction. Very cool. So the higher level you get, the more you uh, see all the different references. Like the bouncing text too. Yeah, very nice touches in this game. And the uh, text is huge on the right. Nice and big. Come on, kitty. He was sick today. Too many hairballs. Damn it. Need to vacuum, right? Yeah. I think I found it easier without the two. <laughs> you can switch in the in the beginning. Um, in the. Can uh, you? Yeah, you can switch back to single stick. Vi vizier, vizier. Who is that? Switch here. There you go. Hi. Recognized all the Morlock stuff from the time machine. Yes, that's where it's from. Hey, Reb, just popped in. This one yours? Sprybug. Yes, it is. Hello, Sprybug. Welcome. Oh, I didn't set... Have we been off the, the whole time? What? Off? Not off, but uh, out of sync. We're out of sync? No. I didn't change them, so we should have been out of sync. We're in sync now. Am I going to have to re-edit this whole thing? Nobody told me we're out of sync. Nobody noticed? So, like I announced last... Oh, oh you walked right into it. Oh, no! Last episode, um, we have a very, 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 extremely, very special show next Friday. And you want to be here for it. Everybody wants to be here for it. That is for sure. Um, okay. It's at a special time as well. It's at 4 p.m., so two hours earlier. 4 p.m. Pacific. Um, 7 p.m. Eastern. Not doing well. Um, what it is will be known soon. Yes. It will all be revealed to everyone. And you'll be like, oh my god, I'm going to take the day off work for that. Because <laughs> you do want to be here live. Yes, you don't do. want to watch it later. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. definitely want to be here live. Oh, there you go. Time Corpse. Yep. Okay. Very, very, yes, very. 48k, the game game proper is 32k, but I need the extra space for the title screen. Um, the title screens on 7800 games look all very, very similar. Is that a... Oh my goodness. Walked right into it. No, because I, I, I'm not shooting. Oh. I'm not... Uh, it's like I think I'm shooting, but I'm not. Um, is that a built-in thing in uh, 7800 Basic, um, the title screen? Uh, Dan says, I don't work, so I will be there. <laughs> hey, if you, can, uh, if you can swing not working, all the better. Uh, yeah, you can't stay in the line of fire too long. Oh, they killed all of them. Oh my god, I'm going to get a dark screen. Or, did, or is it enough oh, to just re like touch them to not get the dark screen? Or do you have to have a guy at the end of the level to not have a dark screen? You're like, get it, and then I die before I get there. There we go. Get it eventually. 
Revenge says, no, it's not built into the 7800 basic or the 7800. I guess it's just a common looking score screen that everybody likes. It just, I swear I've seen it like the same format, but I mean, it's an arcade format. So I guess it would be just like a, a standard and people would emulate other ones they've seen on 7800 games as well. Two hours earlier. Okay, 9 p.m. here. Yeah, so I guess that's Brazil time. Because Brazil goes, whoosh, goes out like that, South America. Yeah. <laughs> um, five hours ahead. Yeah, Brazil's five hours ahead. East Coast is three hours ahead, which is seven o'clock. Four o'clock Pacific. And the people in the middle land can figure it out for themselves. Where's it go? Pacific, Mountain, Central, Eastern. And I don't know what it's called past that. Atlantic? Yeah, Atlantic. And then it's something else that I've never heard of because I rarely reference anything past Atlantic because both oh, US and Canada don't have anything past Atlantic. Hmm? Atlantic? Yeah, what what is the one called past Atlantic that Brazil's in? The time zone. Oh, I don't know. Because we never reference it, right? Uh, <laughs> I was going to say there's uh, Newfoundland time. Uh, that's half hour. <laughs> yeah, but it is outside of uh, Atlantic. A, yes, but I don't think they have that many, uh, in the South America. They just hold. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, no, zombie got you. Mm -hmm. Central is one hour behind Eastern. Oh, no, it's dark times. Dark times. Oh, you're punished with one level. I was doing way better before. <laughs> I was like uh, actually getting to multiple levels and I'm just finding it frustrating. Oh no. Um, you can play it after this. <laughs> now what? Oh, okay. And then you move to the next level. You get one, one level punishment for not saving people. Well, it's not really a punishment. It just goes black. Yeah. You still have to kill oh, everything on the it's screen. It's not even a level. It's literally a punishment. No, it's just the level. The it's level just goes the black? the level goes black, yeah. And then you have to kill everything in that um, grunt, oh. or whatever you call them. Oh, Comes up. Okay. That's what happens. Oh. I see. Oh, I've got oh, a cat. Oh, you have a cat. I'll play another round. Puerto Rico is in on Atlantic. Okay. Mike, are you going to make more t time games? Is that mm. is that how you pronounce it? Time? Time salvo? Because it's got a T... And then two dots, then M E, and T, and I just figured it out seeing it there. It's like the hour, then the two minutes, and it's got the colon. Is that is that how it it works? That's what it stands for. It's like the hour colon minute minute. Very clever, because the colon almost looks like an I with a dot. I thought the colon was silent. To me, to me, to me, to me, salvo. I think it's silent. Yeah, I like yeah. this. Oh, I thought the colon was silent. Yeah. Oh, Lord. oh, stop. What is it doing? It's like I'm moving when I'm trying to shoot and then it goes past. Mm. Maybe it's because. Is it one where it has to hit something before you can shoot again? Maybe nope. that's what's confusing. Hold me. down the button and then aim in a direction. No, I get that. Okay. I get that. That's not what I'm complaining about. <laughs> what are you complaining about? Uh, just the movement and the shooting at the same time. Well, you have to move first, then press the button to shoot in yes, that direction. Yes, yeah. And so if you, sometimes you're shooting and you don't dodge, so it takes... It's. I'm just finding it frustrating, that's all. Ah. Ah. You have to stop in the middle and shoot. Uh, I don't, I don't, I think you can shoot while not in the middle. I think you do. You have to be in one of those midpoints to shoot. Come on. How long does this stay here for? Just, no, nope, it doesn't last. It doesn't last that long, actually. So you have to kind of You have to get it right away, and... yeah. I thought, I thought one of the monsters was getting it, but it's not, it actually just disappears, I think, on its own. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's not going to leave, stay there forever. Oh, come on. I was heading my way to get it. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another one coming. Oh, oh, oh. Let's shoot that guy. Let's get this. And then rescue him. Yay! Good time. Oh, run, run, run! 
I need to stay far away from those yeah. brains when you shoot them. You definitely need like a clear line ooh, to run back ooh, and ooh. forth in. Shoot, shoot. You do. Shoot, shoot, Watch shoot. Out. Get your guy, get oh. your guy. Oh, oh zombified. <laughs> Two of them. Maybe a miss time sal salvo? <laughs> miss time salvo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Part two. He's dodging me the whole time. It is, it is a really neat, um, it's kind of almost like, <sighs> ah. what do I want to say? Uh, almost, it could almost be a puzzle. You know what I mean? Like, um, uh, almost they're moving like a labyrinth. Place. It's almost like a labyrinth. Yeah. But oh, not. Come on. He just came out. <laughs> Punishment. Oh, yeah. what? I bet the time that that's on screen gets shorter and shorter every level. Probably. Okay, right around here. There, you there we go. And you gotta get him out of the way because those brains will zombify. zombify all your guys. Oh, I need that bolt. I'm running out. Uh, I think don't... Did you get it? Yep. Oh no, you're not gonna get him. Oh. Too many. Oh, yeah. oh, you just got oh, him. Good yeah. job. Oh. Oh, no, no. <sighs> Missed one. You only need one. You only need to end with one. So. Or you only need to keep one alive, mm. right? You don't even have to end with one. Well, you have to end with one. Come on. Walk into my fire. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, bullets. Oh, did I... I guess it refreshes your bullets at the beginning of a level. Mm. Yay, challenge. Oh. Galaga. Galaga time. It's good that they can't kill you. Yes, because because that would that would be terrible. You just die instantaneously. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good spot. Mm -hmm. In between. Crossfire. That's the original name of the game. Nice. I'm gonna get it all this time. Cause I know the pattern. <gasps> Woo! Perfect. Perfect. Love that. <laughs> Oh, it's so awesome. Yeah. Ah. 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 So hard. Miss Command says you can use the tiny character from the Z ZPH Robotron <laughs> special for That's the right. Miss ta uh, Time Salvo. <laughs> That's right. I, I, I love ah. the exploding uh, monsters. They're so satisfying. They're very satisfying. <laughs> It's such a great idea. It is combining They're two games. They're all different games. colors too. It's great. Well, it's it's good they, they are different colors. Still get it. Oh, I got still it. there. Oh, oh. missed. Oh no! Oh, you got it. Oof. Another one's coming up in the corner. Go up top. Oh, no. he was too close. Sorry, dude. Yeah, I think you have to kill, kill him. Yeah. I don't think you. There's there's. There's no rescuing no. him. No, it's just like uh, Robotron. He's Oh, what, oh, get back here. Hey, dude. Come here. Yeah, like I said, they have no, <laughs> no they brains. have no sense of, of, of self-preservation <laughs> whatsoever. No, they It's like, don't. I'm just going to wander over to where these big brain-eating monsters are. <laughs> no problem. Oh, damn it. Get over here. Yeah. Yeah, the explosions are not just out. The rise and fall. It's like the goo rising and falling. There. Is that like Mars Attacks? Is that where the heads yes. exploded? It's like a Mars Attacks kind of uh, yes, reference. True. Yeah. Oh, the score counts up. Didn't even notice that. I wasn't even looking to the side. Mm. Oh, oh damn it. Got one of them. And I like your dude who has the, the big flashy glasses. <laughs> yeah, he's great. They're all great. They're 80s glasses. Mm -hmm. Or 70s, actually, they Ah, no! Oh. Nope. Oh, it shoots it. twice. And it's getting more intense. Level four now. Oh, yeah, they are. Shooting doubles. <gasps> Watch out! Oh. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Uh, hence crossfire. Oh. Not game over. Oh. Expert job in the TIA sound of music. Yes. 
Nothing sounds like typical TIA sound. That is true. You don't even... There's some... Mm. And, and the music, too. Mm. Rank looper. All the ranks oh, are uh, time wow. traveler references. It seems like Got too new of a reference well, to include in a game like no, this. No, But it was made in 2016. 2016? I don't know when Looper came out, but probably not that long. Before that. Before that, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Have the two stick again? Uh, do whichever you like. That is true. Forgot it was TIA. Yeah. Like, it's... It's really, really well done. I mean, I guess you just really need to avoid the typical TIA sounds that everybody uses to kind of go outside the realm of expectations. Just change it up a little bit. Why are you getting so many of those? I don't know. It's good, though. Like, in my first game, I got tons of those. Now I'm not... I barely get them. Seems... Very random. <laughs> Maybe it's a certain thing you do? Ah. <sighs> Avoid, I know. Ooh, get that dude. I don't like these big brain guys. No, they're very bad. Sometimes it's good to just stay in one spot and just protect your corner. Oh. Revenge says, thanks, I spent a few days in the museum and was quite happy with the result. Oh. Yeah, the music is really good. Do -do -de -do -de -de -do -de -de do 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 I mean, uh, music on the TIA using just the built-in uh, notes is, is super. Ch oh my god! You see them come in? Yeah, they just all came in at once. That was it's super challenging because the TIA doesn't have notes. It has frequencies, <laughs> mm -hmm. not really notes. They're, they're, they're bad notes. And I don't know if any of them are in tune. Like, maybe like one? One's in tune and the rest are like variations of out of tune and in tune. Sprybox says, yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not, they're not happy sounds. dude no no just, just being cautious yeah i mean the board does fill up more and more as you wait on ah you don't yeah. want to stay in one spot for too long especially no. when there are lots of them you can't and you don't want to be too close to them either because they could shoot at any time as soon as they see you they can shoot to go up and it goes to the left. I'm terrible. <laughs> so do you like the two stick or the one stick better? <sighs> Are you still debating? I'm on the fence. I'm not really like uh, the two stick maybe? Yeah. Yeah, because there's Medicaid something Yankee? about... <laughs> yeah. Don't know that one. Um, Dang, more lux. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the two stick is better because... Yeah. Yeah, you have more control over the, sh the shooting. You don't have to move. You have to move to shoot or, or pause. So, yeah. Yeah, um, I, yeah think so. I totally agree. Great job overall. Everything. Every, I, it's nothing to complain about um, in this game. The controls, the music, the graphics, um, the concept. Yeah. The adaption of that uh, other game into make combining with Robotron, which works so well with the concept. Come on, dude. Come on out. Come on out. Join the party. Ah! I mean, I haven't played the original game, but this makes it into like a totally different style. Will, will it do? Oh, it doesn't kill that guy. Mm. Doesn't kill the zombies. Mm. Another one. Oh, I'm getting them today. There we go. Much better. Another Kinetic one. Kick and kink. 
King Arthur's Court. I think there was oh. a movie about that too. I couldn't remember the title of it though. Wonder if it uh, has the guy from Evil Dead. Because he time travels in uh, part two of the movie oh, Evil really? Dead 2. Yeah. That's terrible. I can't remember. Yeah, normally it would just be there, right, right there. That okay. was a waste. Yeah. That was gonna disappear. Anyway. Um. I mean, there's lots of time travels movies, yeah, so there's really plenty to choose from. Worth a recent uh -huh. very good one, Palm Springs. <laughs> oh yes, if you got, if you it guys haven't seen Palm Springs, it is technically a time travel movie. So. Yep. If you haven't seen Palm Springs... Uh, uh, very, very worth watching. It, Excellent. You're like, oh, it's just Groundhog Day with what's-his-face. and eh. No, it's, it's really very good. different. It's very, very well done. I mean, it's very similar, but it's also a totally different twist on it. Yeah. So if you haven't seen it, highly recommend it. We saw it on, like, a best of 2020 list. Yeah, I yeah. I was like, really? Yeah. That movie? I think he was surprised. <laughs> and no Ten, Delorean, Ten yeah. was like, oh, let's watch it. And I'm like, okay, we'll watch it. Yeah. Ooh. And we watched it and it was like, that was awesome. It was a really that good was film. That was really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we watched it on someone's best of 2020 and you, you were very um, uh, skeptical. skeptical. Yeah. You're well, not an Andy, well, not that you're not an Andy Samberg fan, he's, but it's he just, gets silly he sometimes. is silly, so, yeah. Oh my God, oh my God. But his silliness translates to uh, very funny. Uh, oh, yeah. A lot of the time. Yeah. Um, I actually wore this shirt because I was expecting a, something else to arrive. Mm. Uh, Castlevania for the Intellivision. People were posting oh, that they were getting, they were their, getting their Castlevania. And I wore an Intellivision t-shirt. Mm. Um, but no, it was not. It didn't come. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I get things. We get things a little bit later in Canada these days. As you've heard so, us complain about, yeah. <laughs> uh, they get here eventually. It uh, oh my god, I'm out of bullets. Nope. <laughs> I thought I was out of bullets and there was no bullets to be had. But it's not, uh, not true. I kind of want to strafe. Someone, like, someone asked if there are any Doctor Who references, and Revenge says yes, of course, <laughs> at the higher ranks. Ah, yeah. Oh, that guy's... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, somebody killed. Somebody got killed. Poor dude. I didn't see him. Like, you never run out of bullets. No, well, you, you do. Don't appear to. Like, they always give you bullets. It's not like you have to wander yeah. around, but you do have to make your way to the bullets. Mm -hmm. I hope it's Dalex. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh, oh, uh, I got two of them. That was good. Oh my God. See, they're shooting in anticipation now. They're like mm -hmm. covering their angles. They're like, oh, I'm just going to shoot because you're nearby. You're like one over from it. Uh. Yeah, it definitely appears to be getting more challenging. Oh, it was level four again. Mm. Did I make it to level five? I, I don't I think don't I did. Know if you did. Did you make it to level four? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. There is a slight delay to them exploding, though, which is yes. also a neat effect because you can still get hit by a bullet if you're not careful. Oh, yeah. So um, we'll hitting, hitting the smart bomb does not necessarily save you if you're not no. careful. They kind of all explode when their time comes. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that guy <gasps> anticipated me oh, getting get it, it. Get it, get it, get him, get him, get I those dudes. One of Mark Dark get level. Them. I haven't played one yet. Oh, look, that guy running after me. Oh, they're so fast. What's going on? So weird. Are they always that fast? What, which ones? Just the dudes coming after me. They're like the guys following me. They, well, they're they always seem, right behind you. They seem to be moving their feet moving. faster than normal. <laughs> okay, new challenge. All right. Ooh, I don't know where they're coming from. 
Oh, they're going all over the place. Oh, they are. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Got them. Yes. Oh. Oh no, I'm not gonna get it. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, that's the same pattern. Nope, on the other side. No, 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 no. Oh, very close. Very close. Missed three. Not too bad. Yep. Fire box would do a good Dalek impersonation. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm gonna die for sure. Oh, I got an extra life. Good. Somebody's coming out here. Oh, yeah, they, the delay actually works in your favor sometimes because mm -hmm. it took a bit for that guy to come on and then he died. Oh, he died anyway. Mm. Oh, that was close. Oh, multiple bullets. Damn it. Oh. That is a stressful game. <laughs> Did very well that time. Level yeah. five. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Getting mm -hmm. better. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Time this cop. Amazing nice. time cop. <laughs> Jean-Claude Van Damme splits <laughs> on the kitchen table. That's what I remember of Time Cop. You up for one more? Uh, sure, yeah, one sure. More. I'm not very good. I, I don't get as far as you do, but... Eh, still fine. It is. Um, stressful. Where'd you learn to shoot like that? <laughs> That's funny. Um, so, should we do Alley Quest after this? Or? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, one yeah, more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it's about... Know? 35 minutes to play a game to get to the score. 35 to 40. But we'll we'll do it. Because I think we can do very good scores. So just warning, after this game, we're going to do some long games. We played some last episode. Oh Alia Quest, it's for um, uh, a high score challenge. What is it called? The Atari something high score challenge there's so many there's like three high score challenges out there for atari 2600 games but they happen to be playing a homebrew this uh this season uh which is alia quest and we did really well last time i think i got about top five and ten you got top ten people have improved their scores since we played it on oh I, I i do not doubt it um and the top player watched the stream Oh. <laughs> which was very cool, right? Yes, yes. And he was cheering us on. Yeah, which, was which nice. is really nice. Yeah. yeah. But we'll kind of do a, a wrap up of the show and then we'll play the game after the wrap up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If people want to stick around, don't have to. We'll be here. We'll still be chatting, talking. Um, but this will be Tanya's last game and then uh, like this. But uh, yeah, this is unbelievable. This is such a good game. It doesn't have the interference oh, on the black. You can't see any interference. But when it's like different colors, like, oh, oh no. Oh, I ran right into that one. Because you were going for your guy, right? Yeah. Ah, oh! I, I hate that. Three deaths in like I 10 know. seconds. Just coming up the top. It's pretty surrounded, though. Rescue mission. I think there was only one time either of us had rescued all four guys, and that was you did it on like one of your first games. Did I? Yeah. yeah. Rescued all four guys. How many people out there have this game on cartridge besides Rev End? Is it a, is it, it is a cart game? Yep. Yeah, it was released on cartridge um, four years ago now. 2017. Well, three and a half, I guess. <clears throat> Cafe Man has it. Box. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a box. It's a really nice box. 
Oh, have you made it to this before? No. Oh my god. And you died three times in a row when you made it to this. That's crazy. Oh, good job. I bet this is easier with two steps. Not necessarily. Yeah! <laughs> Are we convincing you, Sprybug, to get a 7800? Because <laughs> um, I'm now thoroughly convinced of the 7800 as great games mm -hmm. and great potential. Oh. Ooh, that was close. Oh, you've got two extra lives now. Wow. Where did I get that? Um, plus, it's backwards compatible to the 2600. And the Quadtari works on it, and the Atari Box works on it, and it's got quite a good library of um, homebrew. Obviously not as big as the 2600 uh, library of homebrew. It's probably got one tenth. Oh, killed one in the process mm -hmm, sadly. of rescuing one. That's okay. I, I, I don't have many 7800 games boxed because obviously I just kind of got into it in the past two years. Mostly they're Bob Deck Rosenzo's games. <laughs> and Ricky and Ricky. Oh, damn it. And Froggy. That is bad. Why? 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 Why do they do that? Walk right into danger. Oh, they just have no sense of self preservation. <laughs> like doo 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 doo. Uh... Hi, friend. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Would like to have it in my collection. I have the 2600 and 5200. Oh, okay. I haven't really got into the 5200. Um, I have three of them, <laughs> but I just haven't. I haven't set it up because of the joystick situation. So I have six joysticks that don't work, but I do have adapters that adapt to um, uh, to Genesis controllers. <gasps> Oh, no. gonna happen. oh, oh game S. over. That was good though. It's Level four. Game. I think that's my best game so far. So good one to end on. Yes. The what, dodos what? of Let's time see. travel scene. Quantum Leaper. Woo! Quantum Leaper. Are they actually different or is it random? Because we seem I, to get I, what different. One every I get a different time. one every time. But yeah, 5340 was pretty good for me. Just below. Oh, Look at this cat. Oh, you can't see him. Can oh you? no. Oh, sweetie. Is he cat. off the screen? I think he is. He's just oh, off the you screen. Can see. He's loafing right by our feet here. Yeah. No, oh, oh, sweetie cat. Bad. You gonna come up? Can I pick you up? Are you gonna get mad? Yes. Yes, he's going to get mad. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah? Oh, oh Blink. He's oh. sick. He's not feeling good. Yeah, it's true. He hasn't been feeling great. Uh, Revenge says not random, just lots of them. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. So, uh, that is the 7800 portion of our show. Mm -hmm. um, and we're kind of going to wrap it up, but we're going to keep playing. Yes. Um, because we're going to add an extra game um, to try and beat our high scores. Mm -hmm. um, so you can stick around. Uh, don't worry about not sticking around. I guess I should have said the lemmings of the time travel scene. <laughs> <laughs> All running into danger and off the cliff. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, so next. Oh, this is not a good view. There. That's a better view. I did not expect him to stay. Oh, he's just not feeling well. He, he's he not. He needs some love. Oh, sweet. So, uh, thank you everybody for watching. We played mm -hmm. some uh, really a good variety and fun games today. Yes, three really uh, good played, games. We uh, played Raindrops, the demo game. The demo. <laughs> um, which would be good with four people. Yeah. Um, it's a full, complete game. Mm -hmm. It has a bug in it, but I'm sure it's already posted a fix by now. Because mm -hmm. uh, I think he was just avoiding checking player four for getting to nine uh, for getting to nine yeah, yeah 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 that's a that's a simple pretty enough. simple one yeah pretty funny um play tubes which was that close to being finished really i mean you can win it's a complete game it is a complete game Just it's pretty some fun sound. some simple sound yeah, and an fine. ending and, a, and yeah. like a yeah uh, a great great show for sure 
Well, yeah, yeah, because it had your game in it. (laughs) And then we played Time Salvo, an incredible game. So, so good. It feels like classic arcade game, really. Yeah. It it just feels so good. It would have fit right in in the early 80s uh, in an arcade. Like, Mm -hmm. you'd walk in and see Time Salvo, Mm -hmm. be like, yep, this is a game. Two sticks. Yeah. (laughs) Super fun. Yeah. Hey, Cafe Huegos, thank you so much. Yeah. We love you for being here. Yes. Um... So some great games today. I was trying to find some interesting and fun games. And there's a whole back catalog of 7800 games to explore. Mm-hmm. So we're going to try and do every second show, 7800 game, till we run out. Until we run out. Yeah, there are a lot of 7800 games out there. Yeah. So that's really but cool. we will run out. So you yeah. better step up your game and start cranking them out. <laughs> start making more. That's right. Um, so I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Actually, I'll say what's coming up. So next episode, we're going to be playing 2,600 games. Uh, we're going to be playing the upgraded Vroom, mm. which has been updated quite a bit. It's very, very awesome now. Mm. Um, we're going to be to have a, We have an exclusive update of Local Hero 2. Mm-hmm. We did play that before, but it's been completely revamped into something very different looking. Uh, we'll probably be playing Dragon Hunt. That might get bumped. Don't know. And then on Friday is the special event. You'll know soon enough what it's about. It will be revealed. Yeah. (laughs) Put it on your calendars. 100%. Friday, uh, March 12th. Yes. 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, 9 p.m. Brazil time. (laughs) Um, You want to be here live. Uh, If I'll just say this. If you are not here for that show, you'll be kicking yourself for missing it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. But you'll find out soon enough and you'll be like, oh, yeah, of course I want to be there. Yeah. 9 p.m. Chile time. And and there's there's been hints posted. Yeah. All over the place. Yeah. Um, So if you follow up. Maybe you can piece some things together. Maybe you can't. Mm. But you'll you'll find out. There'll be more hints coming soon. Mm-hmm. And, and then the actual reveal of actually what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be on the day. It's like, oh, this is what's happening. We will tell you before mm-hmm. the actual day. Mm-hmm. Um, but I won't. I can't tell you when that's going to be. Cause, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He's being so sweet. He's been moving very slow today. Uh, I know. He's he's he. Did he throw up earlier? You said it was saying? a hairball though. Oh, okay. it wasn't food. And it was just a hair. Well, he's, he's just, just not feeling great. No, no, but that's super cute. This doesn't happen. This really doesn't happen. Um, then the oh. show after, we're going to be playing uh, Cosmic Cabbie. And actually, okay. we won't. No? We might be playing Cosmic Cabbie. Okay. <laughs> we have the Dragonfly now. So if this works properly, and okay. we're going to be playing um, EXO. And uh, Pac-Man Collection 40th Anniversary Edition. Mm. And then something else as well. Um, I'll be looking for games that support the Yamaha module. Um, All the ones that work with this and nothing else. Mm. So that we can show this off. So that's... I have to rearrange that now that that came in the mail. Um, And then we're going to be playing Dungeon Stalker on the 16th. Or earlier. Don't know. We'll see. Um, and lots of other exciting things happening in mm-hmm. the future. I'm already planning out like the Christmas special because I've, I've the got the Christmas special, Christmas Salvo, the game we just oh, played. Oh, 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 yeah, has Christmas, a Christmas version? edition oh, that's of it. Awesome. So that's already that's settled. on the list. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and then we have the developer spotlight for Bob Deck Rosenzo. Nice. Yeah, that's um, coming up. I'm probably gonna push it to April. Okay. Just uh, just to give some room after okay. this event. Mm has happened so i have some breathing room nice um so thanks for hanging out everybody today we're not leaving we're not leaving we're just sort of wrapping up yeah because i know everybody's going to take off anyway (laughs) it tends to happen unless you want to watch us play high scores but please stay and chat with us while we're doing it yeah yeah and this cat is being extremely cute yeah yeah just don't pet him too much i know if you pet him too much he will run away yeah yeah. Uh, thanks, Vitoco, yeah. Dan, ABC, Cafe Huegos, mm-hmm. uh, Revenge. Yes. Thank you for making that amazing game. Mm-hmm. Uh, Carl G, thank you for making uh, your amazing game as yeah, well. Yeah, raindrops. Yeah, it's a demo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, Cafe Man, Spry Bug. Yes. Typical fifty two hundred controllers. You convert old PC analog joysticks to work as well. Mm. Oh, yeah, because I have digital. 
controllers. So I'll have to look into that. Nice. Um, but I have to get a PC analog controller. Mm. Uh, Miss Command. Mm. S. Ramirez, I see in there. Yeah. Uh, I suppose. 2D. Dan ABC. Crossbow. Nice. Um, Arena Foot. Yeah. Must have taken off, or he's just quiet. <laughs> Pack Rat VG. Yep. Um, lots of people. Lots of, of people. Lots of chatties. Awesome. And everybody else that was lurking or we didn't say. Yep. Well, I'm going to go. Great show. See you next <laughs> week. Yeah. Dan doesn't want, you to want to see Alia Quest again. Us, us kicking ass on Alia Quest. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Um, so we're going to pop in Alia Quest now. Yep. Into the 2600, switch over our controls. I love this controller. Oh my god, I have to thank Ed Ladin. Yeah, oh, you, I can't do it first. first. You do it first. Okay. I, I'm very um, happy to have a black and white cat in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good night to all of very you rare. who are running off. And yeah, some of them, hopefully, a couple people will uh, don't have to continue go anywhere. to watch and chat with us. Don't have to go anywhere. We're still here. I hope everyone's having a good Friday night. Yeah. Anyone else with a black and white cat in their lap right now? <laughs> Anyone? What are you doing? Is it what working? are you doing? Is it working? Is it working? Oh my gosh, she's being so cute. It's in the right input. Oh. Yes. What's happening? I don't know. A little green That's battery right, yeah. thing popped up at the top or something. Well, it showed the right input. Well, that's good. I think. Maybe it's not the right input. Maybe not. Should be component. D. Yeah. Okay. What, what is that at the top? That just shows what input you're on. Oh. Is that what it is? D? It looks like a battery. That's so funny. Like a stubby battery, I guess. Mm, 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 <laughs> is it in plugged in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try a different uh, cartridge. Oh, someone flicker there. Okay, nope. it's Alia Quest that's having a problem. Okay. That's good. Blow, blow on it, blow on it. No, no not blow on it. <laughs> that corrodes things. Oh, better. Even better. There we ah. go. Hooray! There we go. Let's change the cartridge graphics to Alia Quest so I know where things are when I label them for times. Alia Quest. There we go. Boom. Okay, so we played this on Tuesday and I got 57,000, 52,000, something like that. Mm. Um, so I'm going to have to. Start firing. Reset. Nope. I'm not going to do that. There we go. Um, so the top score, I think, is still 72,000. It starts off fairly easy. But not even. It, it's. I think it's a slow ramp up, but people are saying as you get further along, it does get a lot harder. Yeah, the things get wiggly, wigglier. 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 Oh my god. So hopefully I can do, like, do a, a, a decent of run. decent run. I feel like you need a few good runs before you kind of get into the groove of it. But yeah. We did just play it. <laughs> yeah, a couple. A couple nights ago. ago. But I remember all the patterns. So. Mm -hmm. I think there's eight levels, so mm -hmm. you have to just you have to kind of understand eight patterns, and they get they Harder. just get wigglier <laughs> as it gets up. Like literally, they they yeah. move back and forth across the screen more. Yeah. Uh, the th thing that you want to do is not leave one left. Oh yeah. Because you can get stuck and it can be very hard. Yeah, so I want to get those two on this round. No, I didn't. Because the problem is this last one. Well, out, actually, no, it higher was, levels. It was a higher. It was these guys actually. Were they? 
Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was these guys. Really? You couldn't shoot it. It kept magic, magic carpet. Yeah. Dudes? There. It was weird. Hmm. That's okay. But I won't. No, I think it's good to have a, a couple of rounds first. Yeah. I don't know what to do about this cat. He's, he's just do totally anything. settled. He usually runs off. It's very cute. Well, he was this guy. It was that guy. Yeah. But it was at a but higher level. It's higher level, so they're not so bad on lower levels. Yeah. This is the wiggliest one. <laughs> and... Uh, you can see how much they fluctuate. So you have to kind of know how far in you can go. Yeah. And then you yeah, pick yeah, one yeah. or two off and then do it again. And it's a hundred points each thing you kill. Mm -hmm. And that that's it. And it dictates and there's the same every level, so you can tell how oh god, how high <laughs> somebody got by just their score. Like straight up score. Oh my god. I think if I play, I'm gonna have to grab my um, my tray so I can keep Pixel on my lap. Well, I, I think he's gonna move. The I don't think I that's do gonna happen. No, I don't think so either. But we can, we'll see. Because oh. he can't upset a black and white tuxedo cat. Like no, he just no, no, can't no. do that. His eyes are open though. He's he's he's, he's annoyed with me. Oh, right you know into it. you. I shouldn't have gone. You can restart to the right of it. Uh. Be a good practice run. Practice run. I'm just gonna die now. I think you are dead. Is that three? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I think every loop you get an extra life. Mm -hmm. Bitoko eight bits. I hate games with patterns. <laughs> uh, advantages and disadvantages. Yeah. I think. Patterns mean can get tedious. Yes, it can. Yeah. But it also means you can do well because you memorize patterns. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to weigh the pros and cons of it. This is a game where patience is is a good thing to have mm -hmm. because you don't want to take the risks. There's one guy left. I think. I'm still impressed. This is a 2600 game. Oh my god! It looks oh really good. Oh my god! What good. am I doing on this side? Let's loop around. <laughs> Never be on that side because the things fly off the screen to the right. Yeah. So if you're to the right of them, you're going to die because they just slam into you. What's the high score on this? 70, 60, Still, 60 something, 70 something. 70 something? Oh, I think it was 70. Look it up. I'll look it up when it's... Um, it hasn't gotten higher than that, though. I don't think he's topped his own score. Mm. Mm. Or he's waiting. <laughs> <laughs> waiting for somebody to beat him, and then he'll just... Mm -hmm. uh, the cutoff is tomorrow, I think. Mm. Like I said, the last guy is hardest. You don't know which one's going to shoot. Mm. So you always have to assume the one lowest, but or the one... Ooh. Never get to the right of them, which I did. See, they, they go veer off like... They do. Crazy things. Ah. It's always challenging, that guy. This is the problem you had last time. You can get under him. Yeah, it was at a higher level. There you go. Ah. You don't get a break. No. You really There's don't. No breaks in this game.
so before I knew that I could leave the Sega Master System light gun unaltered by just making an adapter, I actually found a an Atari light gun for sale on eBay for a very decent price. Mm. So I ordered it. But I didn't need to. <laughs> mm. But I, I kind of wanted it anyway. Well, you because you want it, the original too. Because it matches yeah. the system, and I want the original. Yeah, it's nice to have the original. So all I'm missing now, uh, when I get it, mm. is the um, the joystick that matches the XE system, which is a gray joystick. Which I would never use because I hate those joysticks. Mm. Those boxy, boxy 2600 style joysticks. This one, this level is very similar to the other really wavy one, except the guys are massive. Well, they much they easier have, to hit. You, you can't kind of go between them, I guess, but you can't go between any of them. No, you can't. I don't, they're not they're not that hard to hit, really. No, but they have the same style of pattern. They're massive, so they're easy to hit. These are just little wigglies. Mm, you just have to stay out of their flight path. Wiggle path. The wiggle path. <laughs> <laughs> Such a wiggly game. Yeah, it's true. And they all protect themselves. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Protect their friends behind them. Tuxedo Cat is sweepy. Yes. Oh, he is. <laughs> he's, he's tired and sick. Yeah. He just wants some so love. Great. Love and attention yeah, right now. So great. Well, not attention, just love. Love from afar. Yeah. Very warm. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> That's what oh, they love. They right. like the warmth. My foot, my foot's falling asleep now. It's like, don't move it. Yeah. I'll leave. Oh. I'll threaten to leave. Oh, his little chin. Oh, he's so sweet. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, he's got a white chin. My he's just adorable. My heart's exploding. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, God. One guy left. It's always the worst. What did I do last time? Oh, not that. <laughs> it was that. Oh, but not yeah, you have to kind of get under him, don't you? Oh, no. It's my turn. Yeah, that was a terrible run. Terrible, terrible, terrible run. Okay. Are you going to let me do this, Kenton? Well, I was either going to leave or let you do it. Mm. High enough? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh, my legs. It's not high enough. It's high enough. Oh. Oh, Squish no, Cat. No, oh. no. Oh, he's so upset. <laughs> okay. I'm so sorry. He's so upset. Oh. Do you still want it? Um. The... Yeah, maybe. It's not a terrible way. Sorry, Pixel. You can sit on, on James's lap. Oh, he's so mad. Oh. Perturbed. Oh. Died. Oh, my God. You almost died twice. <laughs> oh. oh not used uh, to it. You Sorry, kitty. Well, that's the whole point of the first couple of rounds. Get back in the groove. Here. Switch laps. Oh, you're always rubbing everything. Come on. Come on. Oof. Take me. Taking risks. I love taking risks. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna look at the high scores. Let's see. Hi, come on. Okay, Let's see if anybody's beat. He is debating 60,000 and leave four bad oh. guys behind 59, 6, and then get them all in one try. Oh, God. 63, 11. is the high 60, score? 63,100. I swear he had a higher score than that. I thought he had 70, but I could be wrong. Another person with 63,900. 63, okay. So 63 seems to be... Uh, Breaking point. I got fifty-seven. Yeah, nice. you you did do pretty good. No, I swear I got seventy-two thousand. 
72 is the highest. Uh, I think so. I'll keep scrolling. <laughs> 71,900. Isn't that the next one? Is that the same person? Though? Oh, you're going to have to reset. Oh, I just got him on my lap. <laughs> do not, it, I'll do it. He's not really on my lap. But... Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is not going to work. Unfortunately. Get out of the way. There you go. Three seconds. Yeah. Right. Can you put your bomb down? So fluffy. Yeah, you are. Oh yeah, somebody has seventy-one nine, and somebody has seventy-two. Mm. There's two really high scores. And then there's a bunch of people in the sixty thousand. So I think I'm around. You're around fifty something. I'm in something. top ten, I think, still. Mm. But just. Oh my god, really? I'm struggling on the first level. First oh no, that's not good. You just lay down. I'll touch you if you lay down. <laughs> this cat's so fidgety. That's mm -hmm. that's why it's so rare to have have him in one one spot for so long. Lay down in one spot. Yeah. Loves just walking around. That's so true. Very active cat. He is. One. These guys aren't aren't that bad. No. It's these guys that can be kind of weird. Hi. Oh. Whoa. Oh. oh. No, it's the shots. It's the shots that get me. careful oh my gosh I'm not getting any of them <laughs> oh no it's gonna take forever okay can you hit the oh you still yep, have him again you be able to move over I'm like encroaching on my it's the pillows too many pillows territory. <laughs> too many pillows only encroaching on your territory because you're you've got you're sitting in front of the screen so true Just lay down and calm down. There you go. That's a good cat. Good cat. Yes. Good cat. Yeah, there we go. Happy cat. Yeah, you're not relaxed though. You're still kind of pushing up with your feet. Is he? <laughs> why it was extremely rare that he sat on your lap for like oh, half an yeah. hour. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Well, well, that's okay. Oh, so close. <laughs> when they start waving 
too far over. It's like, ah, I can't get any of them now. You have to get <laughs> under them. Yeah. And shoot as many as you can. Close call. I should have died there. Should have died there. The <laughs> timing of so your shot lootly. just happened to be perfect. Yeah, that was that was quite surprising actually. I do have two power supplies for this. So I'm well prepared for when it arrives. Oh, smell it. It's from Poland. Is he smelling it? <laughs> Should I eat Polish candy? Cool. Dubious Polish candy. No, just candy. Ah! <laughs> Coffee flavor, that sounds good to me. Not the coffee one? Uh, not right now, but okay. I will. Didn't come up. I don't know why you ran. Lady. Lady cat. Oh. Oh, minty. Is it? That's not my favorite type of candy. It's minty candy. Mm hmm. Like the hard, the hard, minty hard candy. You like, you like uh, fruity hard candy. Yeah, I like the fruity stuff. It's more like medicinal. Um... Oh, you gotta get out of there. Come on. Come on. Good candy. Great effect on these guys in the long sweeping. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have no idea what they're supposed to be. They're just it's almost like weird. Um, light. I was I was looking yeah. at it as like spotlight kind of thing. Oh, yep, we got the dragonfly today. Oh, I unboxed it today earlier on the show. So now um, I can play all the 7800 games without any problems. Mm -hmm. And then um, then once the concerto cart is uh, has its firmware updated, then I, I'll probably use the concerto more because I like the on-screen menu. Mm. Because this one you have to... Manually, yeah. It's like a manual control. Complain about the labels on these. Yeah? Um, yeah, because you have to look at the readout on the top. Yes, 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 yes. Because it pretty much kind of... I'm probably getting it wrong. St oh, oh, no. no. Oh, I thought it was dead. It would have been a terrible game. Just like I've been doing all terrible. Yeah. Um, like it stores it somewhere else and then it loads it and it kind of makes its own card? I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm sure they both do that kind of thing. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, no. no, 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 I, I, oh, I thought it was dead. I, I got an extra life. Dead. I must have. I, uh, 
Grand Trooper says, same here, I like the on-screen, but to be able to play all the 7800 games right now, I had to dra get a Dragonfly. Mm -hmm. Oh, 100%. I probably would not have bought this. Well, I would have, because it's got extra sound chips. Yeah, leap around. <laughs> Sometimes it, yeah. It's definitely easier to be on the left. It has the YM, the Yamaha chip, and the double pokey. So, there are advantages. No, you're... Yeah. I know where I, I know. I know their movement. I know how they move. <laughs> so this will make this will play games that the other one will never play, because the other one just has a pokey, and this has the Yamaha chip. So it'll play like all the uh, XM games, I guess. Oh. 20,000. Not bad for the... Still have lives? I thought I... I keep thinking I've died. You must have racked up a bunch of extra I don't lives. know how that's possible. Yeah, that was the other reason. If people started programming for the YM sound, I couldn't play those in the concerto. And I can see people wanting those extra sound channels and the different types of sounds that the Pokey can't supply. And I mean... Probably if somebody's making a game with Yamaha sounds, it, it might be destined for a cart release. So if people buying the actual cart, you would get the Yamaha chip on the retail cart. But for testing and playing and playing on the show, I want to be able to make sure to be able to play every single game in its proper form and that's another reason why i got this duel oh my god I'm taking some risk I, well i keep thinking i have no lives left i know i have no lives left now <laughs> oh, someone right, asked yeah. if it's uh new life every ten thousand. i bet it is i bet it is because i don't know it seems about right i don't think i remember running across how many when the lives are but that sounds about right i don't know yeah let me see if I can find that info. Um, Alia Quest Manual. Mm. There's somebody selling a manual. I don't want that. There we go. Nobody scanned the manual. I mean, it's still for sale, so it's. Maybe I'll just look up instructions. It's the worst when you have one left. Oh, God. Oh, but it, it is within the range of shooting it. <laughs> there, there we, we go. go, finally. Oh, oh, here's the man. Oh, yeah, no. that was death. That was death. 26-4. <sighs> Good start. Can you? Can I do one more now? Or can I do one more? Yes. Thank you. I had a couple of cheap deaths in there. The score panel looks great, but it lacks the lives. I know. I, I know. know. That was the one complaint when you read the reviews on the Atari Age review yeah. board. Um, Nathan Strum reviewed this, and he's like... I wish it showed lives. Yeah, you have to kind of mentally keep track of it. Yeah, them. even a simple number, just like one number in the corner or hashes, Yeah. you know? Like it doesn't even have to be a number. It can be using, I don't know what it could be, but something. Or when you die, it flashes on the screen briefly, right? Yeah. Um, or it could be underneath your character. There's more room under there. Mm -hmm. Just on the bottom left, even like little, little uh, marks. Yep. But nothing. Yeah. You get nothing. You have to memorize your lives. Mm -hmm. But that's that's yeah, a whatever. small thing. It, yeah, a small complaint, as you would say. I guess play every life as if it's your last. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I can't find it. Like I find this an old scan of the manual, but there's like almost no information in it. Oh, oh 
cheap death. Risking it. Kinda. Oh, you're being so risky. I, I, but that's the fun part of this game. No, no, it's being no. a bit risky. If you want high scores, you can't be that risky. Uh, I don't like it when the games take too long. <laughs> oh, I think I might have found. Let's see. Did I find the manual? Ooh, yep. PDF. Oh, this is the other. Oh, no, I think I found it. Okay. I found it. Levels, the mission. Uh, oh, this is a very scant. This is not a very good menu. Shields, command. Okay. It doesn't say. It doesn't say how many, how much, how many points. I'm gonna assume a hundred thousand. That was bad. Five thousand seems a bit low, but it seemed like you got more than two lives. No, no, I did. Twenty thousand. No, I, I'm yeah. pretty sure that's what happened. So I bet that it's ten thousand. Yeah. That kind of makes sense. Because when I got my score, I would have got five extra lives, and it felt like that. It mm. felt like I had eight lives. I kept dying, and I was like, it's "Still going? Oh my god." Yeah, I'm going to say 100,000. Because the manual doesn't have it. It's just a mystery. Just get bonus lives. <gasps> oh, got me again. Ground Trooper, since you weren't here for the intro, I also got this. That was awful. AVG cart for the Atari 8-bit system. Oh, you're done. I'm dead. You that was to... terrible. Yeah, it was terrible, but okay. you deserve you reset? a turn. <laughs> like a tiny piece of music when you start the game. Oh, I think it makes a noise when you get an extra life, no, or is that when it loops I've around? I've not noticed it give you any noise. Oof. That was close. I think it's when you make it do a loop. It does a little it noise. It does a noise when you loop, yeah. And maybe you get a life at the same time, because that might be 10,000 points. It might be points. when it loops. Because you get the same score. Yeah. Every... It just says how far you get, right? Because... You get a hundred points for every enemy. Yep. Hi, Pixel. So it might be near a hundred, uh, ten thousand. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Are you here to cheer on James's high score? <laughs> Good luck to me. Nice. Cheer on the high score. Oh, rugs. The rugs coming from the sky. Oh, I missed one. Oh, the magical do... sky rugs. I was going to try and do one pass. Oh, you've uh, got no, a no, cat. No, no, no. Nope. Can you uh, uh, rescue me from the cat? <laughs> Sorry, kid. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Not right now. There's a lap there. There's it's a just lap. as good as my lap. He, he's like, but she's t touching me. I don't like <laughs> being touched. Ew. Cooties. Cooties. Can you cooties? Mm -hmm. Hi. Yeah. No, he doesn't. No. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Some levels definitely take longer than others. Oh, 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 look at how much room you have. In the later levels of this oh, one... Oh, yeah, they, they come and... They're almost... Whack you around. Sorry. He's a cat. What can he do? He loves you. Not much. Yeah, I know. I know. He does love you. Yes. <laughs> He trying does. to assure them that yeah. I'm not being mean to him no, or something. No, he's not being mean to you. He does. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> he really wants oh, to be over sweetie. here. Oh, sweetie. 
Oh, oh, you're gonna bite me, are you? No, he's, he doesn't like that. He doesn't <laughs> like being told who he's allowed to, to nuzzle. Yep, that's for sure. And it's great because it goes back and forth between like crazy ones and then uh, here's a nice calm one. They don't go all over the screen. Just present them in a straight line. <laughs> Kittens. He, he so <laughs> wants your attention right now. Well, that's how cats operate. <laughs> like, oh, you're ignoring me? I definitely want to be all about you. Oh, <laughs> well, you're allergic to cats? Hi, <laughs> I'm a cat. Hello, I'm here with your allergens <laughs> for the day. <laughs> Hope you had some pills or a shot for your <laughs> yeah. cat allergies. Uh, have He's you taken your me. antihistamines today? <laughs> Hi. He's You're look, mad. looking at me. <laughs> I know. He wants your attention so bad. I know. That's one left. Wigglies. <laughs> wiggly worm. Wiggly cats. Are those wiggly cats? <laughs> yes. If you don't want Pixel's attention, just pet him like crazy. Just give him lots and lots of love. And he'll bite you. Then he'll bite you. And then he'll run away. And he'll run away. Oh, he's really wanting me to scratch his chin. Oh. Oh, so wiggly. Just dodging my bullets. Quarter the way to the high score. <laughs> oh, I left. Why else I left? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're looped. And I think, oh no, 1600. 16, uh, so maybe. No, no, you only got 20,000 and you died definitely two extra times. So it must be at 10. Because 16 yeah. is too low for the extra lives. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, another cat. Do you want to feed them treats? No. Or they got in too many. I think they've had too many. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job. You definitely fast. don't want to leave one. Watch that gray cat face. I am. I have an eye on both of them. No! <laughs> These guys don't veer too much. Though. No, they're pretty easy to get, actually. These are bad. The ones that really go back and forth are problematic. Yeah, because they, they like multiply their veering when there's one left for some reason. It goes like four times as much veering. Leave one. Never. I really like the sound. I think it's the one that's closest to you shoots. Like horizontally closest to you. Mm -hmm. Because that makes the most sense. It's not necessarily the one that's uh, vertically closest to you. Bit by bit. This is one you have to just pick away at it. Mm-hmm. It's like back and forth, back and forth. Mm -hmm. It's very relaxing in a way. Yeah, you found this game very meditative. Yeah, after a while, it. like when I was doing well. I was just like in the mode and just Zoning. kept going. Like, yeah. yeah. In the zone. Oh, they're getting crazy now. Getting crazy. Just like the cats. Oof. Yeah, the cats are fighting on the side there. Oh, I should just them down. These ones I could have gotten just by accidentally shooting them. Yeah. 
too. Oh, I better save that one. Damn it. I don't want to shoot both of them. Mm. I mean, I do want to shoot both of them. I don't want to shoot one. Mm. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Because then I don't have to deal with one going nuts. I think it's horizontal. I think it's the mo most closest close. to horizontally. Oh, I'm looking around. <laughs> yep. Oh, maybe not. No, that one wasn't uh, the closest to me horizontally. Mm. I don't know. It's random. Or they they just <laughs> follow it like a timer almost. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, they are shooting constantly, like uh, on a timer. Mm. Do 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 do. Yeah. But. Which one shoots? Is the mm. question. Now it's two left. No. Even this one's causing issues. I'm gonna have to just go for one. Yellow and purple, I like it. Good, Good color, color choices, yeah, for each of the waves. Is that the complementary color to purple? Is yellow? Ah, uh, yes, it is. Yeah. It's red. The Toko 8 bits. Today I learned how to do that effect on the 2600. Which one's that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of special kind of things you can do. Um, The effect, like the um, the or the guy with the, the oh, light beam, maybe. Yeah, that one's that one's a very interesting effect. Mm. I mean, it's repositioning. It's the same for all the waves. Um, so red and blue, complementary. Mm. Right? Orange and blue. Oh, sorry, orange and blue. What am I about? Green and red. No complimentary colors, just look at uh, movie posters. Mm. It's always orange and blue. Mm, true. Come on! Uh, it's gonna be trouble. It's gonna be trouble. Trouble! <laughs> oh no! Well, you killed him at least. Damn it! 3200? <sighs> die! No. I need these lives for later. These are not hard levels yet. Hard levels coming. I don't know, 50? Yeah, around 50. They're all about the same difficulty until then. They don't seem to increase very much. I was complaining about that last time. It's like, eh, they're all fairly samey. Then around 50, like, ramped up. And they just go wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. <laughs> wiggly, wiggly. That's true. Going to the right. Mm. Two lives wasted. But that last, those last guys are the sometimes they're terrible. Part yeah. Of this game is the yeah. last guy, and that's ridiculous. A ridiculous <laughs> thing to be hard at in a game. It is the last guy of the whole thing. Eh, if it's gonna be something. I like these guys. These rainbow guys. Yeah. They look great. Birds with legs. What are they supposed to be? Strong men? Strong men. <laughs> Their arms out. They just lifted some weights. Ugh. 
dodging my bullets. Oh, come on. Oh wow. Well it depends on the on the level I think. Hi, Grey Cat. Hi Atari. He's getting attacked by flying carts. <laughs> These are good colored. These are nicely colored ones. Very bright. One last one. There we go. Forty. Getting there. Getting there. Color choices on these guys make them look almost glowy. They're so good. Yeah. The blue in the middle and the orange on the edges. I like it. Yeah. Very nice. These creatures, are these guys using two colors on one line? No. Because they pass through me and there's no flicker. But it's just really well um, planned out <laughs> to have that many colors all in a row. They're just kind of interlaced. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, I think there's one left. But there was two, and it wasn't that bad. Oh, no. oh this is probably one of my favorite ones in the. Oh, uh, the color one? The color choice. Oh, is this, yeah, the rainbows this are great. Because there's strong, strong, strong primary colors in this one orange, red, blue, yellow. gonna be one of those, eh? Ooh, too close. Yeah. You kind of have to move with them too in the yeah, later levels because yeah. they they swing so wide. They're yeah. there, they're there. You can't you can't take your hand off. No. <laughs> you're like you took your hand off and look, what are you doing? They come right back. But yeah, they swing so wide you do have to swing with them or you're yep. gonna get hit. Yep, they'll come on the left hand side. They'll swing right in on you. Oh, it went right through it. Does the blue not count? It counts. Oh, yeah. Oh, it just seemed to go right through it. Just, just okay. yeah, these guys are definitely faster now. Mm-hmm. There you go, Lee. Oof, wiggly. Kind of have to get in there. I should have like almost three extra lives now because I died. Twice. I think so, yeah. Start rapidly dying up, up to. I think I got to that point where I was trying to get the last guy in one level and I died three times. Yes. On my high score. Yeah, run. I remember that, yeah. If you can not do that, that would be good. <laughs> yeah. Don't leave one guy left. Yeah. Always leave two. I try to, at least. I mean, it's easier said than See, done. No, there's two. Easier said than done. Oh. Mm, one guy left now. Oh, just loop. Oh, beep, 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 beep. 48. Nice. The colors return to the first level, I think. Really? This is first level colors. Yeah. Blue? Blue. Unless the blue is a different color, which is possible. Yeah, they could be just color cycling and it just happens to be close. I can't remember. It looks like the same. I feel like these ships have their attack formation, so they regroup and return to their attack they, formation. They do, yeah. They get in the line again after they loop around. They do a roll or whatever they need to do mm -hmm. off screen. 50 grand. Yeah. I think the color loop. Oh no, this color is different than the first level, but it's it's a color we've seen before, so maybe mm. they mix and match them after right. a while? Yeah. Like there's eight levels, but... 10 colors or something like that, yeah. so it's always offset. Yeah, maybe. I 
you like the sound so great? You got the slightly increasing uh, tone. Mm -hmm. I wonder if anybody's done that um, tone effect. Remember the one we saw? Or is audio effects where there's two tones or multiple tones kind of mm -hmm. one rises then one comes in lower mm -hmm. and rises as well then the top one falls out so it always sounds like it's continually continually increasing moving. yeah i don't know if it would work with just two voices like it's not it's not subtle enough maybe. maybe if you bring the lower one in at a low volume and then slowly 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 increase it okay i definitely want to Get two. So there's four left. Yep. Okay, two left. It was that first one that was the problem. So it doesn't really matter because no. you still have to hit the first one. The first one's still being problematic. I think you need to run underneath it, but I think it's really hard to do that. Yeah. What did I do last time? I don't know. I think you ran into him. <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, because he starts off to the right and yeah. then just takes off. If I, I remember, if I hold left, you have to really get under him. I'm gonna try right first. No, I don't think I can make it. There. Yeah. Yeah, I think you can. Because my bullet strays. It's not a straight bullet. Because right? mm. the bullet moves off the screen. I swear this is exactly where I was last time. This guy. If I do it to the right. No. Mm. If I just go for it and just not hesitate, what do you think? What do you mean? To the right? Go to the left. Oh, to the left? You and can just try. not hesitate. Because I don't you think either, I can get under Either him. you run into him. I don't want to run into him. I think I'm going to just go to the left here. Oh! And then at the last second, you have to pull away. And pull away. But that's so hard. Maybe I did make it to this, and this is where I last, you, lost my last You life. did. You lost your last life. But because you only lost were... one last time. Yeah. I mean, as long as your lives keep increasing, you keep getting more, which I, I think you this do every time you wrap. This is hard. These guys are really swinging out. Yeah, I think it was 57. Come on. Stop dodging my bullets. And sometimes when you hold it, it gets in a pattern. It, yeah, I think sometimes it does. you have to interrupt it, interrupt your pattern. Yeah. Luckily, these guys do swing wildly. So it actually helps that they're swinging so much because they do cover, they go, go they pass you, right? Mm hmm. Well, I won't get first. No, you don't say. think so? Oh, God, no. 72? 72, 100 is first. Oh, F you. Oh, he's like the other guy. I can't even catch up to No, you life. have to go to the left. You have to... There you go. You have to do it at the last second. Wow, so that is the way to get... Yep. So you're in 60 then, now. Yeah. Oh, that's rough. Oh! That was good, though. <laughs> 6,300. Excellent, excellent score. It is a very good score. Because it beat all the... 60,000 people that yeah. were that just made exactly 60,000. Oh, really? A bunch of people a just bunch made of them mm. because of that thing, that yeah. problem. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because it's people are at when they're at 599, they're in the exact spot I am. There's yeah. no bonuses in this game at all. Yeah. Oh, I'm very happy with that. Yeah. 
Okay. Do one more? Yeah, I'll do one more. We'll see how it your goes. Your scores have not been. No, but I mean, I'm par. fairly happy with my last score. Hi, how you doing? Up here, you gonna cry? No. Hi. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my God. We reset. Or yes, you... please. Yeah. Oh, the kitties. You though. can you can pick him up. You can pick him up. He stays with you. Uh, he struggles and then he goes. No, okay. You have a memory of about two seconds. Yeah, he's a hard, <laughs> he's, he's he's a good kid. Yeah. And it's like, oh, we're fine now. Yeah, I was mad before, but I'm happy now. Yeah. That puts me solidly. Yeah. Up there. That's a pretty good top score. Five, maybe, maybe. Definitely in the top ten. Anybody still with us? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody watching? <laughs> yeah. Nobody not congratulated me for no. my, sc my high score. <laughs> no, uh, but it's not exceptional. They're all gone. Ah! What are you, what are you doing okay. there? That's okay. I'm just like stat stood I there. Know. I'm just like listening to you. You're distracting me. You're talking. <laughs> uh huh. I wasn't talking while you were playing, so. No, I was talking. Yeah. The whole time. That was that's. Somebody was talking about that. What? Not being able to talk while playing. Oh, really? And to me, it depends on the game. It does depend on the game. Most games, I'm fine talking while playing. Um, some, I'm just like, no, I can't. I can't even speak. No, yeah. It depends on what you're doing in the game. This one's very patterned. If it's something memorization-based, no, it's really mm. hard to talk and like m memorize movements of a ship or something like that. Um, Thank you, Vitoko. <laughs> of course, I begged Yay, for it. Yay, <laughs> Vitoko. I begged for congratulations. But, but thanks someone's, for... Someone's paying attention. Thanks for sticking with us. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Some motor's just going. <laughs> oh, more per... See, he... Grabs my arm. It says more, please, when I'm not petting him. Get that last carpet. Mm -hmm. Oh, it isn't the last one. So. No, 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 I didn't get them all. Oh! I think you should kill them if you run into them. I think that's yeah. That's absolutely wrong. They kill you. Yeah, I, I know exactly. Ah! I wasn't over to the side enough. My bum. Shift in. One more. Here. Right. Oh, oh, the cat's gone anyway. I can help you. I can help you if you don't. Yeah. Thank you. He doesn't like people yeah. getting up. I have half a proto for my bounce and catch fully in assembly. Oh, congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah, we're looking forward to uh, checking that out again when you've got a. Um, a near complete game. You, I guess you're eliminating that uh, flashiness. So I could see why that would be distracting. Anything else you're planning to add to the game? Um, it's close. Um, besides what was already there in your other uh, version of it? Because you had. <laughs> taking so many rests. Well, you did too. I did, but I survived them. <laughs> uh, I'm surviving them too. Yeah, so far. <laughs> no flashy pad. Curved instead. Oh, very cool. Actually, that makes a lot more sense if it's curved because then it's like, oh, I'm bouncing off to the right or off to the left. Um, I guess if you're using a, a sprite for your pad, you can definitely get away with it being curved. those cables. It's rubbing all over the boxes. Are you rubbing on the boxes? <laughs> I'm 
Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I helped you. I got one of them. that out here. We'll throw the box out here. <laughs> you in the cat cam? I don't know if I want you to stir in the box. It's such a pretty good box. Is he? <laughs> he loves cardboard. Not boxes, cardboard. Cardboard, yeah. He doesn't get in boxes. He could care less about the box itself. Oh. Likes chewing. He's got a scratch pad. Mm-hmm. He's destroyed. He rips it apart with his teeth. Mm-hmm. I don't know if many other cats do that. I'm but, sure they do, uh, but... Most of them just scratch it, I, think, I would think. Not many just take chunks out of it with their teeth. Like he's ripped off the whole side of it. Mm-hmm. He's a very uh, bitey cat. Doesn't bite people. Bites inanimate objects. <laughs> <laughs> Loves biting things. Unfortunately, that includes furniture. We try to keep it uh, resigned to boxes. Keep them supplied with a fresh amount of scratchy pads. But he destroys them to the point where he's like, Okay, furniture next. You didn't replace my scratchy pad. posted on his, uh, his... I updated the first post to correct a raindrop scoring bug found on ZPH show. <laughs> where only the first player score was checked for a win. Oh. oh, so the other ones weren't. Yeah, so if we continued on playing the other characters. player two or three, it would also wrap around to A, B, C, D, E, F, Funny. symbol... Mm -hmm. <laughs> raindrop. <laughs> I like the rain I like the I like the umbrella. Half an umbrella. <laughs> Other half of the umbrella. Yeah. Oh, he's chewing on it. Oh, he's destroyed. <laughs> he's a funny kitty. It's on camera. Shows his destruction. Mayhem and destruction. This cat does. Is the death for each individual thing you shoot different? Because these ones are the best looking. Oh, I love them. Deaths. They kind uh, of. You'll have to pay attention. Scrunch. But I only look at those. For some reason, those seem to be the most satisfying looking. I I don't know. Well, no, I don't, because they're gonna hit me. <laughs> yeah, these are better to start off like. You have to kind of get so under wide. them. Ah, they they swing so far that if you don't move fast enough, they'll hit you. Mm -hmm. You have to be far enough away from them when they swing, or you're dead. Whoa. You yeah. can't move away from them fast enough. Yeah, it looks like the death is the same. Does it? It just, I think that color combination of the last wave yeah. really, really works with the death. Because it's a bit more solid. Because this one is taking the color of when it was alive. So it's like stripes of blue and red. And it's not as, um, not as good looking. Trouble. There he is. It's hard to tell who has the highest score because people keep posting and updating. Posting and updating. So you're like, it's oh, not sorted. Is that a new one? <laughs> ah, it, that was bad. That was bad. Oh, I hate, I hate the uh, this just shifts in my lap all the time. I need my I need my uh, board to put it on. Oh no, it's too late for that. Yeah, it is too late. I have to start. No pause in this game. No, there is not. No in betweens. There's one. Oops. 
think I'm number five in the score. It's either five or six. It. It's it's really hard to keep track of because people keep reposting and I'm like, did I count that guy already? <laughs> Is he just beating his own score? Could be. 16,000 <gasps> had the life. How had, did I die? Had the I sound again. I myself. It's crazy. Yeah, 16,000 is when it wraps around to the first wave of characters. Um, so I don't think it's the extra life at 16. I, are you sure? I, I actually think it is. I think it's an extra life every round. Do you, or maybe that's too much. It, it might. Oh, too little. Too little? Too little. I don't know. I don't know how, how many times I died. It might be every round. Oh, come on, man. So it might be right that it's an extra life. I mean, we haven't really counted. It doesn't even say how many lives you have to begin with. But I mean, you could easily play a game and just die, die, die. Yeah, okay, you have true. a base of, base of three, and then you, you could watch a long game and count them up and go, okay, was it every 10 or was it every 16,000? It's definitely one of those. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. why would they put it on 12? I mean, they could. Very respectable score. I'm very happy with mine. I don't feel I need to do it again. Um, I think I, I could definitely beat it. Oh, I knew I saw that um, coming. You were like left, right, left, and then went yeah, right into I it. I went right into if it. Commit. Commit. Uh, no, it was not. I, uh, I thought I was going to get past it. Some games, including mine, give you an extra life when you finish a round without losing another one. Mm -hmm. Clean play. Yep, that's um, possible. I, sometimes that's good. I've played games like that where it punishes bad players and rewards good players. Like overly rewards good players and overly punishes bad players. Sometimes I find those very unfair. Because you, because you can't really squeak by. It's like, oh, no. I, I kind of did good there, but it's nowhere near enough. You have to be more... You have to be perfect in a way. Yeah. You have to either be awesome or you're nothing. You're not going to make it. But it depends on the game and depends on how you reward it. So in yours, um, like the bouncing one, it might work better where you reward somebody. For Too far. Or, I think that was it. I think that was it. Not great, but I don't. I don't feel like doing it again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm uncomfortable. You're fine. Yeah. So yeah, I think oh. you did really well. Don't step on the cards. Oh my god. Oh, that cat is is like in love with that box. <laughs> Look like, at him. Can you see him on the cat yeah, cam? Yeah, he can. He's in it as much as he can be. Oh my goodness, that is a happy cat. He's happy. James <laughs> got his stuff. The cat Look, got his box. Tearing it. Look at him. He's teeth are sunk into it oh it's <laughs> just tearing pieces of it off oh my goodness oh look at how big of a chunk you'd think he'd like was a rat or I a know. rabbit or something i know oh, oh my he's god so, so silly okay kitty okay we get it so funny is that the box that came from uh poland uh, one of them yeah yeah oh my gosh she's taking chunks out of it <laughs> let's just let's just watch this twitch live stream of my cat destroying boxes how about that oh. <laughs> yeah you oh this he's the, so funny it's the atari stream yeah destroying boxes 
Demon attack gives you a life after every clean round. Yeah. You have to collect the most in the first levels, levels up, up to a max. Because yeah. then you don't get them anymore because you can't do a clean oh, round. Oh, I see, because it gets harder and harder. That's also a thing in games, I found. Like, um, yeah. I think Keystone Capers. You have to, you have to get maximize all, your points, all the good stuff right at the All beginning. your points at the beginning. Yeah. Because it gets tinier and tinier and, and hero too yeah your points get tinier and tinier as you go mm -hmm. on you're only adding tiny bits yeah and it's like ugh, i'll never get the patch this way yeah yep yeah. yep 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 anyway okay um well there's the cat uh fun yeah obviously alia we love I, alia I, yeah. I it's so good it's i'm glad good. i have it on cartridge mm -hmm. um i'm very happy with my score yeah. If nobody beats me, I'm either fifth or sixth, which is very good when yeah. you're competing with just everybody. There's like f 50 people that play that. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's really competitive. I think you've done really well with your score. I would I never really get good. top one or two or three in any mm -hmm. of those contests. So mm -hmm. this is actually better than average. Mm -hmm. Probably because it's a shooter, and I love shooters, and I'm not terrible at them, except it's if it's Galaga. Which I like playing, but I'm not super great at it. No, but this is fun. This is fun. Yeah. This, this is, is a good game. In Galaga, you have to memorize a yeah. lot. Yeah, patterns. Yeah. A lot of patterns. And they just, yeah, too hard. This one, you memorize nine, eight patterns. Yeah, it, they just get harder and harder as you go. Yeah. And there's little little things you need to do to pass certain levels. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's it for yep. today. Uh, thanks for the mm -hmm. people who hung in there. Yeah, not too many, but thank you for the people who came for the first bit, part too. Especially so Vitoko. Yeah, thank He's you. The only one left. <laughs> maybe Ground Trooper, but maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> Let's check. That's a lie. That's a lie, that list. It says there are people watching, but... It says, but... It's not real, I don't think. It's just people popping in and out. Probably, Actually, that too. person possibly could. Yeah. Because <laughs> of time zones. Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe. Yeah. But That's those okay. Those people were in at some point. At some point. For sure. Yeah. Um, so we'll be back on Tuesday yes. with some 2600 yes, games. Yes, yes, yes. Lots of fun. And then, of course, again on Friday. Yes. Special time. Yeah. Special show. Oh, 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 Four oh. o'clock. It's two hours earlier. You have to be here. Yeah. Don't don't miss it. Put it yeah. on your calendars right now. <laughs> Put it in your phone. Yeah, your eye to calendar alert you or whatever. Yeah. A day before. Yeah. <laughs> four hours before. Two hours before. Fifteen minutes before. You don't want to miss it. Yeah. Um, and you want to watch it live. You don't want to watch it on YouTube later, but you can again. Mm. But what are you doing? Mm. What are you doing? Well, we're leaving. Uh, we've already read out names. There's just Vitoko left. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we'll see you on Tuesday. Have a good weekend, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.